We're rocking and rolling. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Oh, did it? Did it go? <laughs> I don't know what that's going. Hey, super. All right. Hello. Hello, my friends. Welcome to uh, a big, fat, greedy vampire who's had it far too easy for far too long. And uh, <laughs> now I guess it's time to pay the piper or something like that. Um, Boogie used to be a, a rather nice guy. L let me start a little bit by, you know, talking, talking about my experience. Uh, obviously, I've been on YouTube for a long time. Um, basically since, since YouTube was a thing, and yeah, uh, Boogie was one of those dudes that I sort of gravitated to, um, he was, he was an older man, uh, and yeah, I sort of looked up to him in a way, but then he, he started to fall apart and the cracks started to show, and I think everybody saw it, but we liked him, so we were like, <laughs> you know, let's maybe not come at him as hard as, uh, probably we need to um but yeah he, he's taking full advantage of that now and he is a sympathetic character and all that stuff but i just don't know man <laughs> it's it's really rough like if he had um you know had contrition about some of the things he did and been like oh i don't know guys i i just you know made some mistakes and um actually changed his behavior i guess that's the real <laughs> the real rub because people have bailed him out so many times and he just never changed his behavior so that's what it boils down to i think um hey livy hey danny red likes older men confirmed yeah it's me hello <laughs> uh let's get some i don't know posts or something going and uh i'll, I'll say hello hello people oh it's good to see you Erg, did I miss a lot? No, I was just talking a bit about my uh, background with Boogie and, yeah, how I used to admire him on some level and <laughs> come to find out, yeah, some people just get entrenched in the way that they are and refuse to change even as everything is crumbling down around them. Like, he changed his, his body, he got new teeth, he got skinnier for a while, <laughs> but, like... Yeah, the, the mindset never changed, and I think that's the whole problem. Um, the Stream Boogie 2988 documentary by Mike Clum. <laughs> Come check it out or whatever. Bam! Throw it up there. Inciting Riot Esports, Demon Fox Akira. Nice, nice. Been on the fence about him for a long time, mostly because I'm, by and large, ignorant of the whole story. I mean, I don't know if this is going to cover the, the whole story, but I suppose I suppose we shall see. Um, let me flop over to Discord real quick and spam things. Yeah. Yeah, you want some more? You want some more of that? It's my Discord. I can do whatever I want. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I mean, I was on the fence from about him for a long time too. Less and less and less like, uh, accepting in recent years. And yeah, I guess this really is the thing that will make the bottom drop out because people have said it's a mess. So hopefully it gets, uh, you know, nice and monetized and we can have a lot of fun today. So let's stay up safe out there kids. And, uh, <laughs> I'll play some age of wonder four in the corner. I'll just stop it when I have something to say. It's turn-based, so you don't need to worry. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready? When I'm on my deathbed, the biggest regret I, ha I will ever have is knowing that I had a job that every person in the world would fucking kill for. Do you believe that? Do you believe that everybody in the world would want to be a YouTuber? Because... <laughs> I don't. I like on some level, yeah, sure you do, but you don't realize the work that goes into it. You know what I mean? <laughs> it, it's supposed to take work. You're supposed to dig through the annals of the internet and and find the content that people haven't seen yet or that you can cover differently. Uh, sit there and and brainstorm with people about like interesting stuff that that you could cover next, or you know, help write jokes. Um, 
yeah, Gudra, Ram Time. We all talk, you know. We we all come up with ideas. Boogie, I think he, he just sits down and be sad in front of a camera. Like, he has these ideas, and he doesn't bounce them off of anyone. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think he's just giving carte blanche to do whatever he wants. All right. Let's see, let's see. We're only like 15 seconds in. I got so much to say. And I fucked it up. I'm gonna be mad about that till I go to the fucking grave. Yeah, make sure you say the F word a lot. That doesn't make you sound ignorant at all. <laughs> uh, uh, Midnight Moonflower, how's it going, Angry Radish? Mrs. Red X sneaking in there. She's like, <laughs> can I get some of that chocolate bunny? <laughs> Who got me this week? <laughs> uh, Freya, good to see you, Sly Cooper. Von Hellstrom, uh, Amber, Shinshi. Welcome in, welcome in, Metal Factor, Nick C. Yeah, so glad to see you guys out here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, I'm... <laughs> Mrs., I'm trying to get you some of that chocolate money. <laughs> uh, she's about it, dude. <laughs> she loves having a budget to go to the store and spend on chocolate. It's, like, mind-blowing. I mean, I do, too. That's not nice. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm just another boogie 2988, ain't I? Oh boy, it's all unfolding. <laughs> look at look at Boogie on the screen right now. Like, yeah, doing this, having fun. Like, if he brainstormed more Francis videos and leaned into that, well, I don't know. Then you're kind of a a Fred, a character actor on YouTube, which is <laughs> not a great thing to be. But I sort of am too. Like, this this just a different part of my personality. What fresh hell is this? This is my friend Boogie two nine eight eight. Who I looked up to for a while, and <laughs> yeah, he's he's fallen off since. Gotta say. All right, here we go. Once one of the most beloved creators who lost it all broke, now facing financial ruin. Oh no! Don't do that. Whoa! What are you? The dark, sad life of Boogie 2988. Original documentary, a Mike Club production. <laughs> now, obviously, um, there was some liberty given to the producer, like how they choose to cut it and stuff like that. But, uh, I don't know, dude. <laughs> it's, it's pretty hilarious to me. Um... Yeah, he could have probably made Boogie a sympathetic character with all this, but he <laughs> that's not the route that he decided to go. Then again, I haven't seen the documentary. I've heard rumblings, but I try to keep myself pure for live streams and premieres and stuff. Yo, Danny, thank you for the Super Chat $5. This money is specifically for European chocolate this time. Something fancy. Yeah, you get oh, it, man. You get it, man. I'm getting rich. You get it, man. <laughs> <coughs> Wifey said European chocolate. You get it, man. Whoa! I'm getting rich. You get it, man. I'm getting rich. Wifey said, Does European chocolate even exist? <laughs> yes. It does? Yeah, get some, like, uh, I don't know. Where where are they supposed to get chocolate? Bavaria? The hills of Bavaria. Some German chocolates. Oh, Gotta do some. Yeah. But thank you, Danny. <laughs> really appreciate it. And shout out to Squirrel Dev for the tenor. Cleaning up my old apartment, moving into a huge place, going from 200 square feet to 800. Oh! Upgrades! <laughs> Proud of you. Dango. Welcome in, Farnham. Kick back for some more boogie. No, and, uh. Can. Oh, no, I know. What? Uh, Erg says Belgian. Belgium chocolate. Oh, Belgian. Belgian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the one. Okay. <laughs> Why'd that? I say Bavaria? <laughs> Bavaria is in Germany, isn't it? Somebody please tell me I'm not losing my mind. The whole shot of uh, peanut butter cups from Reese's. Yeah, we bought a big bag of peanut butter cups. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Wifey does appreciate it. It makes me so happy. <laughs> happy boost. Thank you. Mm. 
Love you so much, honey. Me in the chat. Love you so much. You're beautiful, God. <laughs> All right. Uh, brief interlude, but here we go. The film documents the life of Boogie 2988 following his downfall from internet fame. He's still internet famous on some level, he just doesn't harness it correctly. <laughs> uh, for a period of nine months, I had exclusive access to his day-to-day -day schedule, personal contacts, and financial statements. Holy God. This really is gonna dig deep, isn't it? Is it gonna try and paint him as like a sympathetic uh, there character? There was one girl. Cause I don't think I can get into I that. I don't know if I should talk about this, Mike, but I'm going to. There was one Topics explored in this film could be upsetting to some viewers. Okay, thank you. I don't know if I should talk about this, Mike, but I'm going to. There was one girl that I dated. She liked a lot of childish things. She liked rubber ducks. That's why I have some of these rubber ducks. Dude, how much money did you spend on those rubber ducks? Those rubber ducks are $30 each, and he's just like, well, whatever. <laughs> it's all fake money anyways. Speaking of fake money, hey, fought him! <laughs> thank you for the 20, dude. This is from all the beards in my house to your house. I don't think wifey's a beard. It's basically uh, me and my middle child <laughs> who are pretty beardy. Uh, but I don't know. The little one's growing up nice and beardy, too. I hope he's just, like, a good beard. A valiant beard, you know? The opposite of Boogie2988. But yes, we'll use this $20 probably for video games. <laughs> uh, just before it's even here, you've spent it. No. It, it goes in the pot. You got to put something in the Christmas pot, right? It's getting close. It's getting close. Hope y'all are strapped in. I love those rubber ducks. They are cool, but yes, yeah, to have so many of them. How about pick one character that you like, you know? <laughs> uh, Pokemon you plushes. I could have gone nuts, but I didn't. I'm rich, like, okay, I'm just going to pick the, the few that I like, which was still like 10, but y there's over a thousand of them. You can't have them all. You cannot catch them all anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead. And one of my favorite memories with her is us sitting in this tub, her playing with rubber ducks as I, I washed her, and then I, when we got out, I took her to bed. One of the best. That's really weird. I mean, it's sort of a thing that happened, but the way you look back on it wistfully, it feels <laughs> it feels a little weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, my fat old man. I banged a girl that liked to play with rubber ducks. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> Great story, Boogie. Oh, uh, hey, Zero. Wow, it's coming in hot today. Oh, you guys, thanks so much. <laughs> They're excited for this one. Uh, yeah, Monopoly money. That's all it is. That's all it really is. The Federal Reserve was like, hey, this totally has some gold behind it, maybe. <laughs> okay, I believe you. <laughs> Camille, thank you for the tenor. Wow, it's flooding. And that's the first super chat on a live stream. And Camille's been uh, a patron forever. So yes, I have one of those Lilith from Borderlands, but my brother got it for me for Christmas. Well, uh, yeah, we'll take those. <laughs> of course. If somebody gives you a Funko Pop, you don't say, ew, Funko Pop. You say, thank you very graciously. So especially if I got a duck, and especially if it was a duck of a character that I actually liked, then I probably would be pretty grateful. <laughs> I'm glad you get to enjoy your duck, though. I'm getting rich. You get it, man. I'm getting rich. Yeah, Boogie 2988, get rich. Sort of, maybe. Not really. Best night of my life, Mike. Tap For a little bit. Right here. Right here. Right here. The little girl that liked to play with rubber ducks and I banged her. In 2019, Boogie had $750,000 in savings. He's now facing bankruptcy and foreclosure. Yeah, so when it comes to financial approach, <laughs> I don't fucking know what I'm doing. Money comes in. Money goes out. For the longest time, my ex-wife handled that shit, but then I got divorced. I don't know where my money is. I don't know what it's doing. The only thing I've ever done with it is I threw Oops. it into crypto and then lost a shitload of it. <laughs> Money comes in. I don't know what's happening. Maybe, uh, maybe try and figure out what's happening. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's so weird to just be like, 
Yeah, but uh, I'm a full-grown adult and can't take care of uh, responsibilities like this. Wifey goes so far with the money. Like, she, she makes happen what needs to happen every single month. You get it, man. But get I'm not going to say that I don't I'm think I can rich. figure it out. You, you know what mad. I mean? <laughs> like, you've been an adult before YouTube. Like, he didn't make it big on YouTube or start getting paid on YouTube until a, a certain point in time. So what did he do before then? You sit around and collect disability, or or did he have a job? He had to have had a job, dude. We all had jobs before YouTube, didn't we? <laughs> Sorry, getting off on a tangent. Thank you, Nick, for the tenor. Whoa, look at his streams going. Uh, Mrs. Red X Chocolate Fund. <laughs> there it is. I recommend chocolate-covered orange peels if you can find them. With Christmas coming up, my girlfriend and I are going to contribute to the Red X Fam Christmas Fund. That's so beautiful. Thank you so much, Nick. Uh, you're yoked, Nick, aren't you? You just changed your mind. Are you no longer yoked? Is that what's happening? <laughs> Please don't let it be like this. <clears throat> I can smell diabetes, but I love it. <laughs> yeah. Just stretch it out. It's going to be fine. It'll last you until next week. <laughs> oh. Thank you guys so much. So, yes, he invested... Uh, Three quarters of a million in crypto and lost 60% or or 60% of a million. I don't know what the 60... It's most of the 750. Whatever. Well, here's everything. If you want to see, there's $2,758 2, in my bank account right now. And let's see if mortgages come out yet. So tomorrow, when they take mortgage out, I'll have about $700 to live off of until the 20th when I get paid again. So what? <laughs> $758, that's all I used to make in a, a 40 hour work week. <laughs> and, and 600 of that was going towards rent. So make it stretch. <laughs> and he's like, oh, it's so horrible. Yeah, I, I, I guess, I guess on some level it is for you who is used to something completely different. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm upset that you're upset about seven hundred and fifty dollars. These days, it, yeah, we got it. it. It's more uh we could loosen the belt a little bit, but there were times, man. There were times. <laughs> and yeah. It's not fun, but you know what? Maybe you need to experience this. Alright. From YouTube. So I'm just going to live <clears throat> off of seven hundred dollars. And I'll probably sell some cards along the way and use that money to make ends meet as well. I have See? You have options. <laughs> I'll have to sell some of my cards. Good. <laughs> That's what people do. You know what I had to do to come to the... I had to sell, like, every console I ever owned. PlayStation 2, Wii, GameCube. Just, just <laughs> obliterated my collection. Um, not just to come to the Philippines, but also, like to pay rent near the end because the editing job is like we're struggling along but yeah <laughs> that's what people do you're an adult you sell part of your collection when when times get tough right i don't think my switch is wor worth anything near what i poured into it that's the problem with the digital collection <laughs> hey camille thank you for the tether uh contributing to the red x christmas fund bam, bam, bam. i'm gonna get my son a little car he's gonna ride on it's so cool <laughs> imagine partaking in a documentary on your alleged downfall while floating in the bathtub for the whole internet to see like yeah i bathe see internet <laughs> damn that's cold <laughs> cold blooded yeah he's just floating there like a like a whale in a jacuzzi, isn't it? <laughs> Look how hard I've got it. Let me tell you something, Boogie. We don't have a, a, a shower, really. Or no, we don't have a bath, really. <laughs> There's no bathtub in this house. But shower with cold water. Whatever temperature the water comes out of the tap at, that's the temperature it is for you. <laughs> Welcome to the Philippines. <clears throat> he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. Hopefully he does get it soon, though. Oh. I have a credit card with them that I owe $600 on. And on top of that, I stole $163,000 on my house. I think my net worth is zero. Once you pull the equity out of the house, get rid of the house debt. Uh, 
Assets, liabilities. Well, that about breaks even, doesn't it? You're gonna be just fine! $30,000 in crypto, $30,000 in collectibles. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's probably fine. Okay, he starts back at zero, but like, is that so bad? <laughs> you can learn how real life really works, you know? Sell off all my collectibles and pay off all my debts. I think that puts me at zero dollars. Zero dollars. <laughs> Oh no, I can't have zero dollars. <laughs> uh, how am I gonna pay for things? Well, I, you, you don't seem to have a problem bad. depending on the I'm charity of others to fund the lifestyle that you want, do ya? So why not just do that, but as a non-internet personality, a, a, a street personality, okay? You can do a character, it's called Homeless Window Washer Man. <laughs> Uh, look at Yemeth coming in with the Kronas, Kippa with the $10. My goodness, this stream's popping. <laughs> you guys are killing it. Thanks so much. Uh, your amount and message will be public. <laughs> yes? And I say it. And I say it because you paid for it. <laughs> so bless up. All right, zero dollars. No, oh, I need more than zero dollars. <laughs> I'm worthless. I gotta save up to be broke. Zero, exactly, dude. Like, like, <laughs> I don't have debt right now, and that's about the best that we're doing. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, like, everything that comes in, it is meticulously portioned out. <laughs> Thank you again, Yemeth. Um, yeah, Wifey does most of that, but, like, how can you be this much of an idiot and just be like, things are going to turn out all right. Two little stupid dogs. Bathtub, wearing goggles in the bathtub. Does he do this all the time? He's like, I don't want to get shampoo in my eyes. <laughs> I can't afford the Johnsons. No more tears anymore. <laughs> uh, oh, that's so good. That's so good. Rainbow Kitty with the two dollars. Thank you. Thank God he never met Elliot Roger. They'd lay down to die together. <laughs> Just be like, yeah, it's all over for us, bro. Bro, we can't do it anymore. Actually, Elliot would hate yeah, Boogie because Back to he's banged before, right? <sighs> Boogie oh. Hot Tub Channel. <laughs> Despite a gastric bypass, Boogie continues to struggle with his weight. Because what I said earlier, it's a brain problem. Yeah, I'm getting rich. Yeah, um, it's just a problem in his, in his brain. It had nothing to do with him being fat. Look at you, you're a mess. Why do we not change some things? We could change some things. Oh. If you wanted to. But my best feature. This is the one the ladies like. Oh, I didn't read it. He's attempting to save $20,000 to remove the excess skin. <laughs> but my best feature. Oh, this God. is the one the ladies love. I call it. Let's start with, let, let's start with like, you know, having a place to live, right? <laughs> Uh, we're already looking for twenty thousand dollars to to cut off belly like build a stable life for yourself again i guess <laughs> whatever it's from the producer he's not talking about it but my meat apron i have two meat curtains there's a second one no god dude i hate this uh what are we doing <laughs> I don't know if I want to watch this. This is foul, dude. I have don't two laugh about it. it's foul, dude. Glorious meat curtains. Oh. I don't like showing it to people, and people don't like seeing it. No, I hate seeing it. Why would you? Why would you show it in public? <laughs> uh, uh. We'll never be the same again. <laughs> Just hate this. Uh, so that's why I'm going to die alone. I mean, oh my god, what the what? Well, my real name is Steve Williams. Uh, I'm known online as Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight because there's a lot of famous Steve Williamses, and I'm not one of them, right? Uh, Steve Williams said. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you could change your name. That's part of the cool thing about living in the state, isn't it? Isn't it? You could do it. <clears throat> it's glorious. 
<laughs> it gets worse. <laughs> God. Uh, well, I I needed energy for this. I had a nap before the stream, so here we go. Is he aware of the other meeting for me? I'm not even gonna go there, Camille. You know. <laughs> Let's just, let's just barrel through. I have to stop it a lot. Uh, I started though. a YouTube channel right. back in 2006, right at the very beginning. Wow. And Key. I got famous for comedy sketches as well as like life vlogs and and just sharing my personal life with other people. What's comedy sketches? I mean, calling them that <laughs> seems generous at this point, but I'm not going to rip on him just to rip on him, you know. I enjoyed a lot of his comedy sketches. I identified with a lot of his comedy sketches, but uh, he identified with it just, just a little bit. <laughs> it's a little bit different, you know. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Boogie to nine eight eight coming at you. My ankle on my left leg and head. Um, but that's just the kind of woman I married. So give her some love in the comment section. Two hundred eighty k in twenty eighteen. It's not exactly twenty twenty three. Seventeen k. I mean, I'd be happy with seventeen k, but yeah, obviously it's like he's he's. <laughs> now living above his means um and yeah that's that's a huge downfall you know that that would be quite a blow to the ego and stuff like that but i think you just got to consider what you're you're what you're doing <laughs> you're like why don't people uh support this anymore well maybe he is surrounded by a bunch of people who tell him he's doing great but yeah you need to listen to the voices that tell you the opposite <laughs> Tell you, listen to the voices that give you some criticism. Uh, hey, Don Brick and Drake, just join my eyes were assaulted by the gun. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm glad Mike Clum could do this to all of us. Don't blame me. Blame Mike Clum. <laughs> uh, Priyank Steel Door, yo, for super chat on the YouTube side. I'm surprised. Uh, seeing you on the Twitch side a lot, and yeah. Now you've integrated into the Discord and everything. Look at you. Look at you. Sucked right in. <laughs> Please roll 4d8 psychic damage. I'm going to do it too. <laughs> so curious. Uh, 4d8. Go. Roll it. 2, 4, 8, and 7. 21. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> uh, all right. Go ahead. This you is where I spent six Whoa! I'm getting rich! You get it, man! You get it, rich! I love listening to that while while Boogie's mourning everything. I've told the audience, I've told you guys, I've told everybody, this is the Six center K. of my world right here. Expenses, 78. <laughs> like... Why don't you try downsizing? You know what I mean? <laughs> He's like, I got all this stuff, but I I can't make it do what it do. Like, you have to at a certain point. Like, this would be so easy to fix. <laughs> like, let me buy a smaller house or, or rent for a little while. Get out from under this debt. And then... Yeah, you've got you've got your uh you're starting at zero, right? But you've got the six thousand. That's good enough to put a deposit down, get yourself moved in somewhere, start rebuilding. <laughs> but he just won't. He expects people to continue floating him, and it's driving me crazy. He looks like one of the AI thumbnails on your videos. <laughs> yeah, but IRL Rainbow Kitty. And for this thumbnail, I actually did run his uh image through like a line art control net and make him have like glowing teeth and eyes. <laughs> I thought that would be terrifying and I think it worked out well. Anyways, continue. I tried downsizing, which is why I needed 20,000 to remove his meat flaps. <laughs> exactly, Farnham. <laughs> we got this all figured out. Less clown food, problem solved. Dude, clown food, that's so funny. <laughs> Uh, I do love clown food, though. <laughs> Watching television, playing video games on that television. But the other day, <laughs> the audio on this TV started to go out. And whenever it would make, oh, like, no. S sounds, it would crackle. And so... <laughs> I love the music in the background. It's like <laughs> sad violin. The, 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 the TV started to... Cr it, it, I couldn't hear the F sounds. It was crackling. <laughs> Uh, let's be grateful we have a TV, huh? <laughs> how, how about that? <laughs> uh, 
I don't know. It's what the hell? I know I'm budgeting, but I immediately went to Amazon and bought a sound bar for a hundred bucks. And then the next <laughs> I just I just started spending money that I don't have. <laughs> Well, I'm glad it's a joke to you, dude, because it's not going to be a joke when all this shit comes comes to a head, <laughs> okay? You are not going to be having fun, let me tell you that much, sir. <laughs> but okay! Uh, next day, the TV stopped crackling, and now I have a $100 soundbar that I don't need. But I Oh, so you're even dumber than I <laughs> first perceived you as. He just, he's, he's not used to it. He lived this way for far too long. And, and yeah, <laughs> now it's all happening. I don't know if anybody should really get this big on YouTube. I, I love my w micro community. Like I know names and faces and people. And I'm like, those are my, my people. <laughs> they love me and I love them back. But yeah, you, you become a monolith like this, make like, a million dollars a year, half mil a year, even that is crazy. Even in America, that's crazy! Whatever. <laughs> no, I'm supposed to be budgeting right now, but because that's my TV, because that's my only source of entertainment, because it's the only thing I do, it's one of the only things that bring me peace, like, I'm like, I have to be able to hear my fucking TV. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even say that with conviction. You hear how his voice went up at the end? No conviction at all. It's one of the only things that bring me peace. Like, I'm like, I have to be able to hear my fucking TV. TV? Question mark. <laughs> uh, do you? Your living room monolith? <laughs> I have to look at big, big obelisk while I look at small obelisk in hand. <laughs> Unless I have at least two screens, I'm not satisfied. I I'm sure that's true. <laughs> but, you know, maybe we need to do something else. You got a lot of toys. Why don't you start playing with some of those Legos, huh? A more active activity to build your brain instead of this endless passivity. But that seems to be the theme for his life. I don't know, man. This is this is wild. <laughs> he stayed long enough to see him become self become the villain. <laughs> the villain. Yes, you're right, Ghostbuster. And I hope I'm out of here before this this arc happens. Before I grow truly vitriolic and hateful for no reason at all. I like to. I think that I seek justice in some form or fashion, but I don't know, people would disagree with me on that. And that's okay! I just gotta live my own truth! <laughs> Job of the broke. But that's every addict, right? Like, Mitch Hedberg said, I'll just do me. enough heroin. And then he like, od on heroin, right? So I guess every addict tries to- He's comparing himself to Mitch Hedberg? How- how dare you? HOW DARE YOU! When Mitch is not even here to defend him, you keep that man's name out of your fucking mouth, Boogie. I'm I'm legitimately upset. Don't, don't. To manage the addiction. Oh my addiction! I don't know, man. My addiction to Halo figurines. Oh no! <laughs> uh, uh, I hope we we check up with this guy. I would check up with this guy and it just blows my mind how terrible he's doing because he can't pull it together. <laughs> like, you're right. It's it's hard to pull it together, but you, you've enjoyed the good life for so long. <laughs> you should be grateful on some level, but he's just like, I need more. More. <laughs> uh, awful. We were talking about compulsive spending a minute. I remember when he smashed his connect because it detected him as his own couch. <laughs> Uh, that is so good, Ghostbuster. <laughs> I must have missed that little tidbit. <laughs> uh, oh. Wanna go? Yeah. Dude, I spent a lot of stuff on, a lot of money on stuff. No shit. You know where a lot of the money went? <laughs> um, he, he's not a drug guy. He has enough money to afford food. Ladies of the night. That's where I'm going with this one. Tell me, Boogie, what did you spend most of the money on? You can't say crypto again. <laughs> and, like, it felt really compulsive at the time. Yep, yep, yep. Nailed that one right down. Between 2018 and 2021, Boogie spent over 200k on sex workers across the U.S., 
<laughs> you you talk about like a few really amazing ones, right? <laughs> or like a lot of really gross ones. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Not something I support at all. But you know, it's an industry for a reason. Adults should be able to, to partake in what they most enjoy. Sport, and Boogie2988 was one of my clients. From LA and I get a message on this website. You can probably guess which one from this guy who looked all backpage.com. <laughs> uh, and they like blur her out a little, distort her voice, but you can you can pretty clearly see well, her like face, Boogie. right? I took women on vacations and I took them out to fancy dinners and I took them to like Disneyland and shit. Yeah, take the Boogie! <laughs> You're taking these hoes to Disneyland? <laughs> For real? <laughs> Stop it! Why would you ever? Like, yeah, you know, had to bring her. <laughs> Why? I guess, I guess so he can, you know, be that guy. He, he couldn't actually, you know, have a, a girl on his arm that he, he maintains and takes care of. He can hardly maintain himself, clearly. <clears throat> so instead, we're taking hoes to Disneyland. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what's even going through your head. You trying to impress her? <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> he bought me dinner. He got me a purse that we were talking about over messages. And he got me a couple gift cards. And he spent well over 5000 on just that night. Just you know the night. rules. The Okay, I guess <clears throat> it's it's you know I'm glad that he could enjoy that, but now the enjoying part of <laughs> he's gone too far into the enjoying part of his life, you know, and and now he's gonna have to reap what he sows. You're gonna have to put in some hard work and do something different, and uh, it does it does come in phases, you know. But I'm not sure Boogie's really reached that phase yet. He saved it all up for the end. <laughs> uh, it's crazy. The rules are we're going to go out and eat. We're going to have dinner. Maybe we're going to fuck. And you're going to enjoy a nice lifestyle that you don't normally get to enjoy. Yeah, you broke hoe. You don't usually get this, do you? But I got that YouTube money. <laughs> uh, what a scumbag. <laughs> Uh, hey Cosmo, what works better for you, channel membership or Patreon? I love my Patreon patrons. Uh, channel membership, I, I only get 70% of that. Patreon, I get 90, I think, 95. A, a very large chunk, so yeah. If, if you could, that extra 20% helps me out, thanks so much. Uh, I hate that Elliot was so into Game of Thrones. <laughs> uh, him being into World of Warcraft is really what bothers me, I guess. But I haven't uh, harped on it in a while. He hasn't talked about it in a while. Maybe Elliot really did quit, you know? <laughs> uh, but we're not here to talk about him, although he does share a lot of similarities with Boogie. Wee. So he was really funny. You can definitely tell he was nervous. Um, he did eat a lot of food. I'm pretty sure he got two entrees, which was very unique. <laughs> it's not... <laughs> uh... She's like, oh my god, he's a gross pig. Whatever. He paid good money. <laughs> and that's also why he's he's paying her good money. Because he knows he's a gross pig. He's sorry that he has to do this. <laughs> Not sorry enough to stop, though. <laughs> uh... 5K is not enough to pay after Boogie encounter hospital bills. Yeah, he's going to compress, <laughs> just like break your entire rib cage. <laughs> I love that she called him unique. She should go into politics. I mean, she's probably already into politics. Or maybe politics is into her. Oh, <laughs> whatever. It's not a revelation. I like beautiful women. I like to hang out with beautiful women. Fuck beautiful women. We all do. I never got to do that. The women I dated were pretty sure. <laughs> and again, <laughs> just the sad music in the background's killing me. <laughs> I never got to do that, you guys. Feel sorry for me. Well, everybody has different life experiences, you know? If you, you put yourself out there, developed a bit more of a personality, you could have done that. <laughs> but you didn't. But they were like Arkansas 8s. <laughs> 
not LA tins. With sugaring, I got to fuck some LA tins, and I think that's cool. We got that. Cool! I had to spend a lot of money in order for this other human being to spend time with me. Cool! At least Elliot had the self-realization to be like, that's not a, a very cool thing. You'll see in the part that's coming out tomorrow. I guess I shouldn't talk about it in advance. But yeah, <laughs> the, uh, the parallels here are striking. Oh, go ahead. Back to the hotel. Sorry. <laughs> I do regret to say that I slept with Boogie 298. I regret to say? Dude, he paid you $5,000 and you still regret it? <laughs> uh, and again, yeah, Camille and wifey going off. The number of pulled ligaments and stuff. <laughs> Hospital bills. Yeah. You're like, look, you can't get on top. <laughs> He's like, eh, I don't have the arm strength. <laughs> uh. Ugh. Overall, the experience, and I don't mean to fat shame or anything, but there was rolls upon rolls upon rolls, and it took me a lot of time to find a stick. Yeah, that, that doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> Probably shouldn't leave it paused on this like, either. I am not married with two kids, and sleeping with Boogie is one of the reasons I quit sex work. <laughs> uh, damn, dude. <laughs> you laid it down pretty flat, huh? <sighs> Spent the five thousand dollars. <laughs> so man, I'm quick. Uh, woo, that's funny. It's <laughs> so funny. Uh, uh, who's worse, Elliot, Boogie, or Chris? Uh, Elliot's the only one that's actually killed people, so I'm gonna say Elliot for sure. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of weird parallels and stuff. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but. On the scale of morality, I think it's a pretty easy choice. <laughs> the income from her night with Boogie helped fund her nursing degree. <laughs> Is that sexist to me? Sure. Well, good. Is that womanizing good for me? You. Sure. I don't really care. Um, I'm a 48-year-old man. I never got to fuck a model. This let me fuck a couple of models. Is that wrong? Models don't have leg tattoos. Just... <laughs> Uh, at least most, most don't. Maybe standards have changed since my day. But uh, I don't imagine that on a model. Oh, yeah. He's like, is that sexist? I don't care. I'm going to do whatever I want. I'm going to do whatever I want. <laughs> uh, that is spicy. We're talking about the video, right? The video is looking super spicy. I don't... Mm -mm. <laughs> Lost vibe. Five dollars. I sent Boogie money so he could take... These motherfuckers to Disneyland and munch on magic carpet. <laughs> uh, well, uh, trust me when I say that your money will much better be invested in Red X Industries and the future of Red X Industries. And by that, I mean buying my child a bunch of apples because apparently he wants to eat three a day. Not really even eat them, just walk around with them so he has something to munch on. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Lost Vibes. I surely won't f spend it on a Funko Pop. <laughs> and Vladimir with the two for brutality, flawless victory. Love it. Love it. Here we go. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, her, her saying that he's the reason or one of the reasons. I'm sure there's <laughs> myriad reasons to quit. But yeah, he, he just tipped her over the edge. <laughs> she was like an LA five at best. Yeah. I agree, Zero. I don't want to be harsh or anything, but that's... That is so not my style. <laughs> uh, all right, moving on. Here we have some of the women in this area that are local and ready to go out. They'll go to dinner with you. Yeah, Woof. You get it, man. They'll go to a show with you. Maybe they'll come back to You get it, man. I'm getting rich. In exchange. Uh... Yeah, whatever. Uh, I think bit. I missed something there. It's basically just Boogie's scrolling through a bunch of whores. He's look, look, look at all these girls I can buy. Any one of them. <laughs> yeah, I guess he could. It's window shopping, right? Like any other meat market like Tinder, you kind of... Meat market. Oh, God, dude. <laughs> this documentary really, like, chooses some, some choice moments to expose who, who Boogie truly is. Or maybe he's just this person all the time. For all the nine months. And I hate to think of that, but I think it's the truth. <laughs> Meat market! <laughs> They're human beings, goddammit! Kind of scroll down the 
the list of photos until you find someone that looks interesting to you. I think this girl's really cute. Oh yeah. Someone who looks interesting to you. <laughs> uh, just, just, just say attractive. We don't have to pretend it's just interesting. Oh, I find that interesting. Look, she's got a picture of her butt. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Uh, God save the hoes! <laughs> uh, meat markets, meat markets hate him. <laughs> See how Boogie ran through everything with just one easy trick. <laughs> uh, I'm dying, dude. This is <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, yeah. She's definitely a little thicker than I necessarily would always go for, but there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm paying to put my Peter in there any day of the week. Seven ways till Sunday, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, you, you. You just have no discrimination. You're like, I don't even really like her, but I don't know. Something's got to get my pee-pee wet. <laughs> Might as well be you, Cherolette. <laughs> it's not Charlotte, it's Cherolette. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> Uh, all right. So I deserve to go to Disneyland with a beautiful girl, right? I no. Deserve no. Nobody deserves anything in this world, Boogie. Get that shit out of your mind. You you feel lucky to go to Disneyland at all. How about that? Let's start there. Huh? To go to, to New York and explore Times Square with a beautiful girl. Right? Like, I deserve that. And I want that. And I've never had it. Man, if I had that money back... That would be half of my mortgage right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's sort of how money works, isn't it? But you decided to spend it on these things instead of the other things. And somehow he's like shocked. <laughs> Taps his temple. He's like, oh my God. I could have, I could have paid my mortgage. Like, no shit. <laughs> uh, are you expecting anybody to feel bad for you? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh... He's that meme where the dude asked the internet how to budget better, saying he spends $3,000 on candles a month and has no idea why he's unable to pay his bills. <laughs> but like in real life, <laughs> I, I, I can picture the meme that you're talking about. Even, I mean, you explained it well enough. You don't even need to see the meme. Stop buying candles, Boogie. What is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, and Kipper pointed out thicker than he would like when he's about... <laughs> the thickest uh, just morbidly obese he's gonna die very soon is what I'm trying to say uh, it's not even sad anymore just pathetic yeah like people thought he would like get sympathy from this or he thought that he would get sympathy from people is what my brain means to say so yeah <laughs> invite somebody in for nine months and be like look it's gonna be so sad all the things I'm gonna tell you. It's like no dude. It sounds like you lived a great life and you fucked it up <laughs> How bad can I feel? A thousand dollars is my entire health insurance payment Whoa, I don't know what the prostitutes did with it. And I hope they spend it in, in good health uh, Now he's like begrudging them for the the money that he gave them to spend time with his disgusting lonely depressed, self-loathing, unpleasant, self-pitying, <laughs> quote-unquote human being. <clears throat> like, the more, the more I watch the documentary, the, the madder I get at him. And I think the, the real disadvantage here, he was talking something on Twitter, like, a couple years back, when I still bothered following him, and he's talking about, you know, his life unfiltered, and I replied something along the lines of, you can never truly give anybody, like, your full life unfiltered, the full unfiltered version of yourself, because it's always run through a microphone. I'm, I'm always sort of play-acting a little bit, you know? But, uh, <clears throat> in Boogie's case, yes. <laughs> he he got exposed through a nine-month documentary, and, and... Yeah, this is the real him, at least as close as we're going to get, and I don't like it. I don't like it. I feel sad for this dude. You feel sad for everybody, missus. <laughs> Stop having sympathy for people who only beat themselves up. You know what I mean? 
like the first couple of times I'll give you sympathy. I'll be like, oh man, that's kind of why I connected with him at a time in my life when I needed a little bit of sympathy. But like, whereas I was able to, you know, pull myself up by the bootstraps or to do something with it. He has, yeah, had magnitudes of success greater than I ever will. And he squandered it. He squandered it. Don't feel bad for, oh, you feel bad he's buying hookers. <laughs> feel bad that he can eat whatever he wants and buy all these stupid toys like dude pay your mortgage build a house buy some land like what the hell are you doing i don't feel bad for him he's an idiot <laughs> maybe on some level i'm sure he's got a, a million excuses as to why he's such an idiot and has an addictive personality and blah 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 but all i hear are excuses if you really wanted to change you could change but he doesn't want to change is the whole problem hey, i'm getting rich <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to come at misses so hard, but I feel strongly about this, especially the longer the documentary goes on, because he is just unapologetic. He's like, it is what it is. Who cares? Fix it for me. <laughs> it's disgusting. Don't forget stinky. Yeah, definitely. We saw him in the bath. That was the one time he bathed in the nine months. <laughs> uh, thank you for the two for Danny and Fawn with the fiver. I'm addicted to tipping the Red X. You should give it a try. Yeah, it makes a cool song play. I had to turn it down so the whole audio didn't get muted, which is what happened to the Chris Chan thing. Uh, we'll probably continue Chris Chan next week. But I saw this was like all over my page. I'm like, I gotta, I gotta sit down and watch it with the people. <laughs> uh, they spent it on their therapy. Hope he's spent my money well. Bro, she quit because of you. <laughs> and spent it all on therapy. This is this is rough. This is dark. I love it. <laughs> uh, but I sure could use that shit right now. You know? Yeah, why don't they come give it back? You wanna go for a walk? So you can, he knows. He know, you can't tell me he doesn't know. <laughs> You're holding the leash. Yes, the dog knows what the leash means. Dogs have nothing to do all day, but figure out like what their humans are doing or or something to entertain themselves. <clears throat> yes, I picked up the, he knows. Wow. Can you make him sit? Can you make him shake? He doesn't do any of that stuff. He's sort of just a feral dog. <laughs> uh, come on, man. P put some effort in somewhere, you know? <laughs> Leo up, baby, I know. We'll go in a second. You're not just a dog, Sammy. You're my sanity. You're my happiness. You're my therapist. And my best friend. Oh, God. Ugh. Something that a 50-year-old woman would hang in her house after her kids left the nest. I should call my mom. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, why does he have this? It's great that you enjoy your animals. Really, it is. It's just the dog, dude. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's it's just an animal. And it's supposed to serve a function in the household. I guess it does. I guess it's his therapist. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I gotta prep your brother. Prep your brother. Come on, He's boy. Great. Red Rocket. He's Red Rocket. <laughs> uh, sorry. I actually really love him a lot. I actually really love him a lot. Yeah, because we couldn't tell from the, the stupid sign hanging up in your house. <laughs> Live, laugh, LARP. <laughs> uh, I want that so bad, Farnham. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a mock-up of something. I need to get that on a t-shirt. The foul soup is, is harder to render than I thought because AI has a lot of different ideas for what foul soup is supposed to look like. And I'm trying to narrow that down a bit. <laughs> hey, Lost Vibes with the two for thanks so much. He became... <coughs> <coughs> he became the same thing he used to make fun of. You mean with Francis, right? Yeah, it is. It's just a real-life LARP at this point. I know Boogie doesn't do any, like, uh, really controversial burn type of stuff. But yeah, he, he burned on himself, and then he decided to lean into that burn as hard as he could. <laughs> uh, but thanks for the, the two for Lost Vibes. I do agree, 100%. much these things mean to you? What's it like to have to sell them to be able to live? I think his belly is dinner, what'd you say? Am I crazy to think the pups are trying to reach in his folds? <laughs> yeah, it smells like bacon in there. <laughs> uh, Boogie's holding a snack for later with his flaps. <laughs> uh, 
Oh. Uh, <laughs> his belly is dither. Yeah, take a bite of the meat flaps. So selling off these things kind of sell Wait, wind it back. You get He's it selling it. his possessions. Oh, so boo hoo for you, Boogie. Kind of you you can't it. believe it. Because I've been playing for 30 just, years, and some of the cards in this and, box, and I opened magic, back in 1994. Yeah. I opened them in like 96, and I've held on to them ever since. And that's a, like they're a piece of my childhood. They're a piece of my history. I thought I was going to get buried with this stuff. This is this is my stuff. This is me. This is part of me. How much does it cost to buy a part of you then? <laughs> because it sounds like to me you're you're the part of you is watching TV and and going out with ladies of the night. Because that's all I've really gotten within the past few years. Yeah, 30 years ago you played magic at one point. Whoop the freaking do. It's all just stuff. Uh yeah, the stuff you own ends up owning you or something like that. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. It's just stuff. Get rid of it. Take care of what you need to take care of, no? Please? <laughs> okay. And uh, I made some money off of YouTube last month, but I did not make enough without a sponsor or something like that. I just, I'm not making enough, so we're gonna go to the game shop. But this is gonna keep me from going out on the... Uh, on uh, I just, I just... <laughs> yeah, we made some money from YouTube, but it's not enough. I'm gonna have to sell my cards. Operating deficit. Was that 3,000? Uh, red, green, color blindness killing uh, me. On the streets, right? Like, this is gonna keep me in a Three, house. five. So. Yeah, you get it, mad. Oh, I'm getting rich. You get it, mad. I'm getting rich. Thank you, Daniel Vial Vialba. Vialba. It means House of the Wolves. No, that's Villalobos. And I only know that because Pulp Fiction. Okay, at this pace, Boogie will be bankrupt in six months. <laughs> yeah. Hanging on to hope. Here we go. 6K a month. What are his expenses? I'm selling magic cards on whatnot. They did talk about it correctly. on eBay. I'm selling arcade machines locally. I'll sell He made $6,000. His expenses, I think, 5 3 Right? Supposedly. Whatever. Oh. And I'm going to sell enough to help with mortgage. But I'm also going to sell enough to be able to play magic tonight. Because I don't want people wondering why I'm not there. I don't want people, like, knowing I'm broke. Like, that's embarrassing. I can't afford $30 to play Magic. Maybe you should be embarrassed. So I'm spending 30 bucks to play Magic tonight. Why are you not embarrassed? Okay, you, so you should be embarrassed. this month, I need from you about $1,000 to make mortgage. So I need you to pick out, like... A thousand dollars for the stuff like there's a couple of cradles in there. Mm -hmm. There's a city of traders in there. <laughs> He's like, mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> exactly the type of people you expect to see at the card shop, isn't it? <laughs> it's just beautiful. What a spectacle of humanity. This could be a thumbnail all, all on its own. <laughs> Bald nerd sitting high in his chair. Let me see what you've got for me here. Hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Let's let's hear about it. Well. I could do 200 a piece on those. What? Dude, I thought we were looking more like 400, 450 on each of these. 175 is what it's down to. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Those are good. It, it's, a, it's a buyer's market, you see? <laughs> uh, this is uh, not a good time to try and be selling magic cards, but it doesn't seem like you have much of a choice, so I'm glad to take you for everything you're worth. Thank you for spending so much money here over the years. <laughs> now let me be the one to drive the spear through your heart. <laughs> it's for the best, you understand? Good took, lord, that thanks. took a beating. Fuck, these are reserved list cards, Glenn. Yeah? They're not going anywhere but up. Okay. Well, okay. you say that, but the <laughs> dual lands went down. I mean, yeah, all right. As long as I'm getting mortgage money, as long as I'm getting some cards here tonight, okay. And some cards you, you, tonight, you, of course. Mortgage money back. and the cards. I need the cards, too. You know, on, what if I didn't have I the cards? <laughs> I'm not going to sell them anybody else but you. Okay. The goofy accordion music. <laughs> <Don't make it laughs> Isn't he an idiot? We're only documenting this. We can't say anything at all. <laughs> uh, but it's happening. You're seeing it happen in real time. Are you loving it? Because I'm not... <laughs> I'm sure Boogie's loving it the least, but you know what? He's had his time in the sun, all right? 
Uh, this is over now. What's paying for this? Uh, no. Shit, you're paying me back on my hair. <laughs> that don't hurt. 15 bucks from Walmart. From the person who's producing the documentary. Isn't the documentary supposed to be, like, impartial? If I was doing a documentary, I'd be like, nah, dude. I can't loan you money because that's, like, not part of the thing, you know? <laughs> I would be giving up the integrity of this documentary. Yeah, we all look the same in a game shop. It's because we're fucking outcasts. We're in a kind of small town. We're fucking autistic as shit. We're awkward around women. We're awkward around people. We don't know what the fuck we're doing. And then I come back here and I'm looking at all the shit I need to sell. And I'm surrounded by all this shit. Look at this! What? Look at this! <laughs> He's like, oh no, I'm gonna have to sell it. Well, why'd you buy it? That's an awesome arcade room. How often do you think he uses it? How often would really anybody use it? <laughs> I'm telling you, you just need one good, like, emulated cabinet. And you're good to go for forever. <laughs> then if the joystick wears out or something, you're in a bit bit of a spot because you can't play any of the game. But I don't know. Like, I would love to have this. I would love to have this and... and Budget it out over a series of months, and then when you finally get it, it's so sweet. But he probably just said, I want the room like this, and threw all his money at the wall. <laughs> Ugh. The integrity of the documentary. You expect Boogie to understand what integrity means? <laughs> I guess not. Yeah, take that one back. You got lots of stuff. Yeah, I'd love to have a, a, a nerd den like this, but you can't just do it. You can't just do it, especially not in this way. My phone's buzzing. Shit that I bought for YouTube videos and stuff. And it's hard to not think about what a fuck up I am. But that's why I go to the arcade. That's why I go to play Magic. That's why I have my friends over. Because for just a few hours, I'm not that fuck up from YouTube. I'm just Steve Williams. I'm just me. Oh, this is this is my. Oh man, what a what a crowd we have gathered here today. <laughs> uh... But yeah, I, I, I guess I can understand wanting to get away, especially when your entire channel is, is just crowded by such negativity these days. Uh, like, a lot of people like to jump on the bandwagon. I'm guilty of it right now as we speak. But when that many voices are telling you something, like, you need to maybe consider what's true and what's not. You know? <laughs> like, there's always going to be yes men and, and people there to hype you up, but not everybody will always speak truth to power. So the people that... Uh, tell you something needs to change or this isn't working as well like yeah you, you should respect that a lot but i i think yeah he's just surrounded himself with yes men essentially he's like <laughs> they just hang out because he used to buy him magic card packs or something so weird okay my saturday night crew we get together every that pause screen looks like the saddest thanksgiving ever <laughs> uh Yep, all the creepy uncles had to get together in case they have to stay away from the kids. Hey, restraining order, you see? Saturday, we eat pizza, we play magic, we play board games, we do Smash Brothers. Yeah, it's awesome! <laughs> magic the Gathering, this is my crack, this is my cocaine. I met him at the magic shop. Cardboard I met him at the magic crack. shop. Now him, I met at the magic shop. This guy, I met at the magic shop. This guy I met uh, at the magic shop. This guy I met because he was a roommate with a friend I met at the magic shop. Okay, so I have a million dollar question for you guys. I probably wouldn't have guessed that. You met them all at the magic shop? The, the only place that you've stated you go outside of, you know, <laughs> anywhere? Anywhere? I'm just, <laughs> yeah, of course your friends are from the mat. They look like they're from the magic shop. You look like you live in a magic shop. <laughs> okay. Crack is my crack. <laughs> uh, to each their own, dude. Victimless crime. Until I start sealing remote batteries to buy some more. <laughs> so I can experience that five minutes just one more again. <laughs> Every Saturday we get together. Mm -hmm. Every Saturday I order, what? Pizza, chicken fingers, tacos. Those are the things I normally get us, right? Like, I normally spend like $100, $150 every Saturday like feed us. And like I showed them my bank books today and I'm not like, I've never wanted to burden you guys with this, but like 
I'm at a point where saving $300 a month would be useful. I mean, we've, we've been telling you for years that we don't care about the food that much. Okay. Yeah. Like, don't, like, don't get me wrong. I like having snacks and soda when I'm over here because I don't eat. Bro, that's, that's not a snack. That is dinner. <laughs> Pizza, fried chicken, taco. That is a three-course dinner. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I, I, I like having snack. He, like he bought a bag of potato chips. <laughs> uh, under fifty dollars every Saturday. Uh, is that bad? <laughs> he doesn't even know their names. They're all this guy from the magic store. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's uh, another guy from the magic. I don't know. They just hang out and I buy him stuff. <laughs> Three hundred bucks on junk food is terrifying to me. Yeah, he does it to impress his friends, doesn't he? <laughs> Come on, everybody! I mean, I don't, I don't think all that much about spending a hundred bucks on something that I would like or something that you know. I, I bought Nate uh, Ramtide. I'm sorry, <laughs> I bought Ramtide uh, a new guitar recently. It's sort of so he could also help me out with the the music stuff that we're trying to do, but also because he loves playing guitar and that would be a nice thing for him. So, like a uh, hundred and thirty two bucks. I'm like a one time expense. You know, I don't know if I could commit to that every week. <laughs> that's kind of crazy you're right uh yeah i pay him out once a month i bought him a guitar this month uh we'll see what we can do for christmas for him my vtubers broke oh fart uh-oh hold on i'm just gonna leave it off <laughs> eat those at my house i have to restart but obs we, it's not I gonna mean, happen definitely thanks for letting me know though years. like you don't have to feed us but know, you, you, you do know. it anyway so when are we going to start bringing girlfriends don't around have to feed us also when are we going to start bringing girlfriends around that aren't hookers because <laughs> that's all i brought around for five years i mean like we haven't had like legitimate girl <laughs> i don't know if that guy's just not actually laughing at the joke anymore <laughs> or if the producer cut it together that way but that is hilarious he's like <laughs> and the guy's just sitting there like I've never slept with a hooker, and nor would I, you degenerate. Profligates like you belong on a cross. Because <laughs> that's all I brought around. <laughs> Can you see that? I mean, like, we haven't had like, legitimate girlfriends over in a long time. You haven't dated in, in a while. You haven't dated in a while. I mean, yeah, a while. That's fair enough, yeah. I, mean, you I wonder why. He looks like such a well put together young man. <laughs> uh. Holy God, man. <laughs> they showed up for weekly tendies. They don't even care. Boogie calls him the guy from the magic shop. Yeah, that's all you are to me. Just another one of thems. <laughs> uh, the dude with the rosacea is creepy looking. No, I told... I just said he's well put together, Danny. Be nice. Be nice. He's going to bring over pizza and fried chicken and tacos later. <laughs> you like that I think he's a good guy, yeah. I think that Boogie's definitely a, a good guy. Uh, he loves his friends and his family, and he cares about people a lot, and he cares about what people think about him a lot. He's a fun cool. person to be around and to laugh and make jokes with. And sometimes we open up and we have, like, really personal conversations, and I enjoy getting to... I think Jacob's probably, like, the only person that I could vibe with, just by the looks, you know? Other people just, just obviously look like they don't care. And I don't care on a lot of days, but... <laughs> you gotta care where it counts a little bit, you know? I know him in that way as well. Willing to do things for us. He's offered to, you know, take care of us or offered us a room if he needs it. Um, he's still gonna make some of the same jokes. You know, we all have a sort of dry sense of humor. Sincere kindness? Uh, it's, it doesn't all... Dry sense of humor. Yeah, I suppose. It, se it seems like a, a fairly juvenile humor. That good old... <laughs> that good old Red X type of humor. Right? It's just talking about hookers that we did or didn't buy. <laughs> uh, what are you doing, man? Always show up, but uh, he, he does have a lot of a lot of compassion for people. That... I think he's just a guy <laughs> with good and bad. But I don't think he's as bad as a lot of corners of the internet think he is. I think as long as he stops tweeting the N-word, he'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> just complete straight face. The N word is just a word. Oh my god, dude! Oh my god! What are we doing? So <laughs> Don't what? Why? <laughs> uh. Oh come on, man! 
don't don't do this. <laughs> I am literally begging you not to do this. It's too late. It's been done. 3.2 million people have watched him make this argument. But the N-word is... It's just a word. <laughs> uh, I... What? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, here we go. Yeah. We're really getting down to the nitty gritty, ain't we? Holy hell. <laughs> if you guys left, and these cameras weren't rolling, and I was sitting here alone in the dark, and I said the N-word... There's no magic power to it. If I, if I'm, if a tree falls in the forest <laughs> and nobody's around to hear it, does it make a sound? Or no, a noise. I'm supposed to say noise because that's like in relation to humans or something. <laughs> and then the producer tells him to say it. Go ahead, say it. There's nothing wrong with it. Go ahead. So say it. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not going to say it on camera where it could hurt somebody. <laughs> I like offensive humor. Yeah. I like dark jokes. I say fucked up shit. I think the darker something is. Cancer, rape, murder, child abuse. The darker it is, the more important it is to make jokes about it. I agree with that on some level. But uh, with that, <laughs> we also have to have some, some caveats, don't we? I, I, I don't mean us as a whole, but me personally? No, there are certain words that I'm simply not comfortable saying. <laughs> you know? There, there are certain things that... Um, probably can be talked about with time you know I, I don't think the elliot roger manifesto would have vibed the same if i released it the year that it happened but like 10 10 years later you're free to rip on it dude like <laughs> enough time has passed for most of the pain to go away you know and and i do think it's an important thing to joke about but within that yeah like i said there's there's some things that probably for the sake of anybody else don't say and <sighs> Yeah, if you're not going to say it on camera, if you know that it could damage you, why argue that it's just a word? It's like, there's no magic power behind it. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. The only time words really have power is when somebody else is around to hear it. Including Baphomet! <laughs> uh, uh, so it's okay to do something as long as other people don't know about it? <laughs> Feels a little flexible on the moral scale. I mean, I've been flexible with my moral scale before. I probably will be again, you know? But <laughs> there's certain things that are just like bar none. Yeah, that that really hurts people. It damages people, you know? Some people don't take it seriously. Some people really do. So, I don't know. I, I try to be as, as fair as possible in most of my dealings with people I meet until they prove they don't deserve it. Like Boogie. Who's gonna hurt Boogie? Frank Hassel. Yeah, I feel, I'm sorry you had to go That's why Boogie got a gun yeah, okay. All right. I mean, I didn't go through it. I'm still alive. She's dead. And, uh, yep. Yeah, so fuck her. Wow. And now she's dead. That's a Mocking the death of his deceased girlfriend. Dude. Ew. Jesus. Ew. What? Ew! He's evil, dude. Maybe he put on this nice guy persona for a long time, but to joke about something like that? Like, I, I guess flippantly. You know? But it is gross out of context. I need to know the full context before I... <laughs> before I go. Because I could make that joke, depending. But yeah. It's something that happened, like, directly to you. I guess he's just got these walls built up. He's just a, a very damaged human being. Ugh. Who's gonna hurt Boogie? Boogie is gonna hurt Boogie. <laughs> uh, chat got it. Chat got it, yup. A lot of money, I guess, for a person of color, or is it not? I don't know. Someone That's says a lot you can't of money put for your a finger into a clitoris. <laughs> oh Somebody my here God. doesn't have uh, Thanking a minority fan for their donation. <laughs> is that out of context? <laughs> oh my God, man. Someone says you can't put your finger into a clitoris. Somebody here doesn't have a scalpel handy. You splay that fucker just right, you can wrap it all around your fingers. You just gotta... <sighs> this is not the person that I want to be. Like, I, I do dark humor on the channel, but this is like... I don't know, man. There's no joy behind it. <laughs> this is just an evil man saying evil things. 
Shave it real thin. Gotta, you gotta shave Internet poison. Yeah, you nailed that Woo, down, honey punch. That's disturbing. That's the most fucked up thing. I've no, I plan to shoot you, bud. Please. You're pointing a gun. That is disturbing. At least he had the realization to be like, okay, that's disturbing. Like, <laughs> you pulled back a little bit. Okay, I'll let you have the one about female genital mutilation. <laughs> really, male me genital mutilation is just running rampant uh, in America, the Philippines, everywhere you look. <laughs> And this is a uh, bookie confronted by or confronting Frank Hassel, who's one of those maniacs that runs around with uh, Sam Hyde, I think. And uh, yeah, <laughs> not somebody you probably want to encounter in real life. Well, he made it his mission to, to get Boogie in, yeah, in some hot water. So we showed up at Boogie's house, and uh, Boogie came outside with a gun. I think he fired it once, like into the air. And uh, he's still got in trouble for that. <laughs> uh, the edgelord part of Boogie rears its head. Yeah, thank you for the two for Camille, but I, I think that's essentially what it is. Saying shocking things just to get a reaction because you don't know how to get a reaction any other way. Like, you're not actually a funny person. You're just saying hyperbolic things for the sake of being hyperbolic. Which I do sometimes, too, to, like, increase engagement and things like that. But I don't know, man. It, it doesn't seem like there's any purpose to it here. <clears throat> but again, it's, it's out of context. All of this is allegedly okay. Don't sue me. He doesn't have the mind to sue me. It's fine. <laughs> you getting mad? Uh, you getting mad? mad. Getting I'm getting rich. You getting mad? Ah, uh, uh, you love that. Perfect timing. It's gorgeous. Wonderful. Going to me? Yes. Whoa! Is this what we have to do? Is this Where it really we have to is do? When one guy. <laughs> Spent like a month of his time gathering every link, every video clip, everything I'd ever said or done since 1998, and he compiled it into this one huge mega thread. It's like 10, 15 pages long. Awesome. This is essentially what happens on, on Kiwi Farms. I, I do understand it's a bit controversial to even go there these days for some stupid reason. But yeah, most of the things in these threads are just like words from your own mouth and people just reporting on it. And uh, <laughs> it is hard to, you know, be live and be mindful of some of the things that you say. But I don't know, man. <laughs> when you tell people the truth, you got a lot less to remember. That much I know. <laughs> is that a real gun? Yeah, it is, uh, miss. Mrs. He, he, he actually, I think he got on parole or something for it. Just for shooting it up on the air. Which is crazy! Is Arkansas even a free state anymore? I gotta move to Arizona. <laughs> people just show up at your house just because you're shooting a gun. Some people like to shoot guns, okay? And every time my name would get mentioned on Reddit moving forward, they would all link to that mega thread. Well, these people on Reddit began to bombard my sponsors. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's pretty crazy. It's almost like if you're an unlikable person, uh, bad things might happen. <laughs> things accused of Boogie in the Reddit. What? Things Boogie was accused of in the Reddit thread? Does Mike Clum speak English? I don't know if it's first, his first language. It sounded like it when he spoke, but yeah, the wording of that is just really weird. Can we have the editor give it another pass? <laughs> uh, abused his wife, supported child people that did that, had attraction to minors, mocked racial minorities, lied about mental health diagnoses, claimed good things came from the halo, kuast. <laughs> Why are we spelling it like that? Threatened to kill his own dog, used his friend's death to promote new channel, made fun of a child for having divorced parents, threatened suicide to guilt fans into support, faked harassment emails to gain sympathy, Flirted with his friend's widow after his death. Misused Patreon funds on personal toys. Personal toys? I'll be honest. I think most of my Patreon fund goes to pay my editor, but a lot of it does go to personal toys, so. Or savings. <laughs> but there's a lot of personal toys, too. Um, so thank you to the patrons. And the Vladimir Dragunov for the fiver. Oh! Arkansas is a duty to retreat state, and warning shots is a no-no nationwide. Damn. Damn, dude, I guess, I guess that makes sense, you know. What goes up must come down and such. And he probably shot somebody who was cruising up the, the coast or something. <laughs> uh, and thank you for the fiver and the clarification. Very informative. Um, so, yeah, 
I basically hate all of these things. I've threatened to kill my own dog before. <laughs> but it's it's more in jest, you know? One of those things that you tell your dog. <laughs> You're like, you don't shut your mouth, I'll kill you! But, I don't know, maybe he took it too far. This is this is his dark edgelord sense of humor showing. And apparently there, there just are no boundaries. He does whatever, whenever. And uh, we're all just supposed to be okay with it for an extended period. Which, uh, I'm sort of glad people aren't anymore. But I don't know. I don't know, man. To make me look as bad as possible. Every time I got a new sponsor, they would bombard me. Oh, and, no! Uh, eventually they dropped me. Damn, sucks to suck. Half a million in 2018. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 150... K in 2019 and that's about the point where you think you start asking yourself some really hard questions like why <laughs> why is it less than it was and and I don't know financial downturns a thing but going from half a mil to yeah 72,000 in, in, <laughs> in two years good lord good lord yeah they really did a lot of damage but he still could have pulled it back <laughs> he just decided not to. 2021, 46k. 2022, 26k. Which is, like, national average or something like that? <laughs> isn't, isn't 26k, like, okay money to live? I did it for a long time. He just refuses to do it. He refuses to live within his means, and I don't understand. <sighs> Okay, whatever. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready to step back into 1988? You ready to go back to my childhood? Because that's what's behind the star. Yeah, gotta spend $5 at the arcade. <laughs> $473 left. Is he gonna go grocery shopping at some point? Or he just like, he subsists from the light of, a, of, of screens? <laughs> I wish I was making 72k a year. No doubt, dude. That's that's some sick money right there. <laughs> I hope that eventually I'll get to that point, but uh, not quite yet. You know what? Do you want to know what this represents to me? This is everything that was good about my childhood. And when I walk back in here, it's like going back in time, except things aren't completely shitty. So this. Yeah, isn't that nice for you? Isn't that nice for you that you get your, your little bit of escapism? That you can afford to do this at all. Oh, you can't afford to do this? Maybe you maybe you should not do this. Maybe you should stop leaning into what's comfortable for yourself and do some uncomfortable things that you might not want to do in order to better yourself. <clears throat> I recorded a, a video for tomorrow today. Uh, it's supposed to be a day off, but I recorded that video. I learned some more stuff on Comfy UI. I'm trying to get, like, my AI stuff on point so we can make better thumbnails, so we can spread the channel even further. Like, <laughs> you can't just, like, some time in an arcade is great. You know, obviously I'm playing Age of Wonders in the corner somewhat. <laughs> I think I've only taken, like, three turns. But, um, yeah, y you can't do it forever, you know? <laughs> It's, it's one of those things that you do to take a little break, get your mind off something else, and, um, yeah, his mind doesn't go anywhere else. He always has his mind off of living his actual life, which is really weird. This is the classic. I mean, I even have a Pac-Man tattoo. I'm not gonna knock a video game tattoo. I have Mario tattoos. Mario villains. Uh, a boo and a bullet bill on my chest, a bob -omb on my right arm, and a Goomba on my left arm. And then I was going to get a uh, Koopa Troopa on my leg and a piranha plant, like, going up the back of my leg. The wifey said, don't do it. So we're not going to do it. <laughs> I got enough in it. It's fine. I'm kind of into video game tattoos. Whatever you like, you know. Why is he going to spend money at an arcade? He has one at home. Yeah. Those cabinets just sitting there gathering dust. He's like, I, I want to play this version of Pac-Man. It, it, it don't make no difference. <laughs> don't make you know never mind uh demon fox secure thank you for the five look at this really depends on where you live i could back when i lived in a small town in northern arizona back in 2014 to the outbreak not anymore not in phoenix yeah it's it's getting rough in the u.s from what i hear 
<laughs> I don't know if I'll ever move back at this point. I'd like to for retirement, like the medical care and stuff like that, but uh, we'll have to worry about that when we when we figure it out. Or maybe I just die in a hammock, you know, somewhere in the jungle. Who gives a shit? <laughs> uh, I'll just go on to what's next. See, like that's 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 real life. What what Boogie's doing right here? That's that's not real life. Sad. It's a man child tra trapping himself into a place where he tells himself he feels comfortable, so he just never makes any improvement. <sighs> it's blowing my mind. This is the game I most identify with because it's about Shane a little Dawson. guy running through a maze trying to figure shit out. In Nikado Avocado's body. <laughs> I'm getting rich. You get it bad. I'm getting rich. Thank you again, David Fox Akira. And, uh, I mean, look at the guy. He looks like me. Uh, I, I might. He looks like me. That's just a self-fulfilling prophecy. I'm going to listen to this crap again. Uh-oh. Not like that. Running through a maze, trying to figure shit out. Eating everything in sight. And getting chased by ghosts of his past. So I'm basically Pac-Man. Wow. You've read way too deeply into that. <laughs> uh, okay, oh, sure. Oh, simple fun. And, uh... They turn the air card on. I mean, hot. look at the guy. He looks like me. Uh, I, I might have... Eating mangoes. ...sprained it or broken it or something. I was walking to the bathroom in there. And... Is the medical care really that bad out there, Red? Oh yeah, <laughs> it is. Do not get sick in the Phil. You're you're. Do not get sick in the Philippines. Is what I'll tell you. Okay, make that one promise to me, <laughs> because that's basically the end. If you get shot or stabbed, and I'm sure there's some doctors that d do a really great job, but yeah, a lot of them don't so much. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, walk into the bathroom. Boogie sprained his ankle. Oh no, guys. I'm too fat to hold up my own weight. <laughs> Don't you feel sorry for me? <laughs> uh, no, I, I I really don't, honestly. Broken it or something? I was walking to the bathroom in there. I'm too fat. And oh, no. there was a loud snap sound. Is this and snap? things kind of shifted in one direction. I had to wear crutches like, for six months. I'm sorry, that's a sneak forward to that Elliot thing. <laughs> uh, ha, ha, ha into my shoe and it hurts really badly oh it hurts real big <sighs> it's the fun part about being old and look at pac-man go waka 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 he like me for real for real <laughs> uh, exactly fat you never know you don't know if you'll wake up tomorrow you don't know if today is that stroke or heart attack you've been waiting on waiting on or if it's going to be a healthy day and you feel real good for a change for a change <sighs> again it's just sort of the self-fulfilling prophecy it's like i don't know i'll probably have a heart attack at some point fuck it <laughs> are you are you kidding me right now you just you you stare that inevitability in the face and then probably the moment that you're on the deathbed you'll have so many regrets about it You'd be like, I, I didn't want to go this earlier. I, I had things that I wanted to accomplish still. I tell myself that I'd be fine with it, you know, if I kicked the bucket. I sort of lived the dream, the one thing that I set out to do. And uh, all it can do from here is scale up. But I don't even know if I wanted to scale up all that much. Like, I like knowing people's names and faces and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I, I digress. Yeah. He, I, I'm just shocked that he's just like, yeah, so flippant. I might have a stroke or heart attack. Whatever. Let's go Taco Bell. Like, do you... It's gonna happen. I guess I can't be depressed for him even while he brushes off his own mortality. Because he doesn't care, so how can I care? Holy God. You never know. Something about that is darker than anything else he said. Yeah, and that's why he stopped talking after he said it. Because the, the realization hit him as well. And he's like... Uh, <laughs> uh, that's 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 the real. That's not just being an edge lord. So I don't know. Twenty twenty three. Nah, he'll make Do it I at think least I'll another year. He's fine. 50? <laughs> yeah, probably. That's only two years away. Do I think I'll make sixty, which is twelve years away? Probably not. 
Yeah. That's the reality of your situation. And he did have a gastric bypass surgery to try and, you know, wind it back and be a supposedly healthier person. When really, you, sh you, you should have done it with diet and exercise. Uh, but yeah, if you're, if you're past that point, I guess you got to do what you got to do. If you sprain your ankle walking to the bathroom at 48 years old, he's 48 years old. When I was a young man, he was he was a, a relatively young man. It's no wonder we connected. But yeah, how, how do you fall off this hard, man? At least he's he's having a real conversation. He's not trying to giggle or make it into a joke. Again, like, yeah, this is this is this is real, dude. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. <laughs> Continue down the same path. Is Boogie playing Amazing Grace? <laughs> This this filmmaker's a clown, dude. He's putting like sad violins and accordions and all this stuff. Like, <laughs> not clown in a bad way. I just mean he's funny. I don't know if it's intentionally funny, but to me, I find it really funny. I'm easily amused. Whatever. <laughs> Here's everything that's wrong with Boogie. Low testosterone. Testicular hypogonadism. Sleep apnea. Swelling due to blockages of lymphatic flow. Seboric eczema. They had him read all this, which is kind of funny to me, too. Can you believe that? <laughs> They're like, go ahead, Boogie. Read out all your symptoms. It's gonna be just fine. <laughs> and he did it. The maniac actually sat down and did it. <laughs> He's like, well, I want to get some more internet money. Maybe this will help me regain some face. No, dude, this is, this is embarrassing. What changes are you making because of all this? Nothing. <laughs> I'm just going to read out the list. <laughs> okay, cool. Chronic back pain. Protein in urine. That's from kidney damage, folks. That is everything Whoa. keeping me alive. We have Losartan, Tramadol, Buprofen, Sertraline. Uh... I thought those were urine samples. I was like, <laughs> that's a terrible way to transport urine samples for one. And also, they're all super yellow. <laughs> Uh, you need to drink some water. He's a complete packet. He really is. <laughs> you know, this could have been me going down a different path. You realize that, don't you, darling? <laughs> uh, if I if I stayed alone in my apartment, if wifey never took a chance and rescued me from myself, this is what we're looking at. But thank God, thank God. You know. Oh, was that spec element? No. Did I deal with back pain? I, I should look up what some of those medications I'm do, but I don't, tired. I don't have the time. It's I don't fine. know the last time I did sleep. Otherwise, if I don't wear this machine at night, when I'm supposed to be sleeping, I'm actually drowning in my own fat. Uh, high blood pressure. History of gastric <laughs> Still going. Intestinal malabsorption. Vitamin D sufficiency. Because like most gamers, I hate the sun. Yeah, that's the one you decided to qualify, not the testicular hypergonadism. <laughs> uh, I don't like the sun. What do you want from me? Like that that's fine. I get you could take vitamin D pills. You know what I mean? That's not too bad, but all this other sh what are you doing? What are you doing? He doesn't care. Morbid obesity. He doesn't care and we're major supposed to care for him. Disorder, major anxiety disorder. <sighs> History of diabetes mellitus. Blood pooling in veins, varicose <laughs> veins of the legs with complications. It's because his heart is not strong enough to push. The blood is pooling because the heart's not strong enough to push it all around everywhere it needs to go. It's not meant to deal with a body of this size. You need an elephant heart transplant. <laughs> uh, uh. Degeneration of lumbar or lumbosacral intervertebral disc. That means my back don't work so good. History yeah, yeah, of basal cell carcinoma. That's cancer. And of course, I can't breathe so good. So asthma and allergies as well. Weird flex, but okay. And then he throws the phone at the end. Again, trying to make it like some sort of big joke. But it's like, dude, <laughs> this is how you live? You live like this every day, and, and you choose it, it, is the crazy part to me. Some people have to go through stuff like this, and yeah, they pull themselves out. Now it's Boogie's turn to go through stuff like this, and I guess see if he can pull himself out, but my hopes ain't high, you know? Putting himself on blast like this, trying to regain a little bit of clout, 
He probably did, did do something for his channel. Maybe he's gonna go full-blown lol cow. We'll get Francis videos with without even having, uh... Well, Francis, Boogie's character Francis, not Osgood Francis. <laughs> we'll get Francis videos without having, like, it'll be actual Boogie videos. It's not, it's not satirical anymore. <laughs> so, it's a waiting game now. And it's just about making the best of it. Most of his problems are weight and diet related. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> it's ridiculous that he'd list out these symptoms and just be like, yeah, I don't breathe so good. Mostly because I'm drowning in my own fat, but it's fine. <laughs> Dude, could, could we make different choices? Like, I don't know. Maybe instead of taking the dogs out to just poop on the lawn, you, you walk them around the block once or twice, huh? That's, that's like a good start. If you really can't control the diet, really, I think it all comes down to the diet. Just deny yourself. I don't eat for like 14 hours a day, and then I gorge myself in the last half. But it's fine. I, I still lose the weight because it's uh, a, a good way for my body to work. You Is he going to donate his body not? to science? I think he should. Oh, it doesn't matter, Mrs. Uh, Red X Industries is coming to collect it, <laughs> whether he likes it or not. We're going to leave a, a, a coconut palm trunk in his coffin and nobody will know the difference <laughs> that's a a philippines uh what superstition <laughs> that i love it's one of the first ones wifey told me it stuck with me this whole time sugar is like crack yeah it is sometimes that's a chicken quesadilla but you can't just shrug it off endlessly ew ew don't pause there Close your fucking mouth. <laughs> uh, yeah. You make choices, you know? To continue making this choice, I, I, I don't understand that at all. Like, you see it. You see it, don't you? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's wild. He sees... He's thinking about... He's contemplating his own mortality right now. Halfway into the documentary production, I decided to take a break. And I was like, ah, I can finally I want to make a like, documentary. It was overwhelmingly that was depressing. Entertaining. He realized, wait a second. Everything he says is depressing. Everything <laughs> he says is like the saddest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, let's get to know the filmmaker a little bit more. Mike Klum is coming in pretty base. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. Why are you so sad all the time? Like life is all bad or something? What are you, stupid? <laughs> that would be half of my mortgage right now. <laughs> $10,000. And it's just about making the best of it. This is the first documentary we're, I'm doing. I can't put out a documentary that's this guy the whole time. Because I don't want my brand new channel uh, to be known as making documentaries about the most depressing people that exist. <laughs> <And so. laughs> uh... So he's made documentaries before. I think that much is clear. Um, the the <laughs> the folksy harmonica music while he's talking is again sort of silly to me, <laughs> but okay. It's better than complete silence or the air conditioner running in the background, which is uh, what you're hearing right now. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. I'm just more comfortable when it's cold. And I can feel like I could be more funny if it's more comfortable. Anyways, um, yeah. To to sit down and watch this thing in one sitting, I think it. I think it would be difficult. Luckily, I pause a lot. I have a lot of insertions and whatnot. And uh, I think it's for the best. I really think it's for the best. It's a banana tree red, not coconut. Damn it! <laughs> Whoops. Sure, they're keeping the retrieval crane ready. Yeah, they're going to have to bury him in a piano box, man. <laughs> yeah, you like funny jokes about death? <laughs> Bummer 298. <laughs> uh... Ah, that's a good one. That's a good one right there. All right, go ahead, Mike. I'm sorry to take your stage just there. It's like, what the fuck happened to this guy? What the fuck happened to Boogie? What happened to him? This is who he's always been deep down. Do you want to know the truth of it? Redonkulous. Well, he's losing what made people originally like him. It could be as simple as just that positive attitude. Why not use your only life to make the lives around you better? 
fuck you. It's none of your fucking business. It's my. <laughs> uh, what a fine dichotomy. My body's my choice. Eat shit. And over time, in the content, we see this shift where he starts to become more interested in money. I just like making content. I just like talking to a camera. I just like doing cool stuff. I just want ad revenue. I just want YouTube to pay me a fair amount. It's all I've ever won, right? <laughs> uh, uh, I love these cuts. These contrasts. I'm sure I'm sure somebody could do something with Red X uh, eventually. People do change, you know, but th this is definitely change for the worst, you know? <laughs> Like, he actually had something to say before, and then he started making money off it, and he's like, Eh! I'm better than everybody! <laughs> All of a sudden, I miss Chill Boogie. No doubt, dude. Yeah, and also, the, the sad violin music, Del. Just ridiculous. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing?! His concerns about money. If I could teach you anything, it's to hold on to the money you get. Oh, are you trying to manipulate people into giving you money? The answer is yes. Give me some money. And... Hey! Hey, chat! You give me enough money, it's cool. <laughs> We're just kicking back and enjoying things now. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> he, he, he's completely lost the plot. He's gotten to a point where he literally does think that he's better than everybody and entitled to all of these things. And to see a fall from grace like that is sort of delicious, isn't it? It's sort of poetic justice. I hope it doesn't happen to me, though. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think I've reached that point of success. And once I have, I mean, I, I really don't think that I will. <laughs> I worked hard to get where I am. I'm sure he worked hard too. But um, only one of us is doing daily content. Well, you did one Francis video and went viral. Congratulations, Boogie. You deserve all the success you got, Boogie. <laughs> uh, give me money. I'm just going to manipulate you. Ugh. Ugh. Does he still have his veneers? Yeah, for now. Until they degrade to the point that he can't afford to fix them anymore. That's why I didn't get veneers. <laughs> more interested in complaining. I couldn't be more grateful. I couldn't be more grateful to people. Want to come? Thank you. I'm a walking embarrassment, dude. We do. Look at me. I'm fucking disgusting. Better I'm a piece of shit. I mean... He, he says it like it's self-awareness. And I did give him credit for it the first time, but with how often he says it, especially these days, like, it's unfortunate Nookie vibes. Well, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm such a piece of crap. It's not my fault. <laughs> Are you sure about that? He's 90 days Ed's brother. <laughs> uh, he's got a neck in this somewhere. I, I don't think he washes with mayonnaise. I didn't see any mayonnaise in, in Boogie's bathroom. Though he might have put it away for the documentary. He's like, oh my god, my hair is going to look so less than lustrous. <laughs> Hey, thank you, Fodum, for the tufa. Cringe for the cringe throne. That's right. I didn't have to emotionally manipulate you or anything. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, Fodum doesn't fall for emotional manipulation anyway. He's a wise fellow. Naked right, LARP, y'all, get, get ready. No, don't say that. I'm don't say that. Oh! <laughs> uh, he's grabbing for attention with the I'm disgusting, unfortunately, vibes. Yeah. I, I, I'm just, just disgusting, you guys. Tell me that I'm not disgusting so I don't feel so disgusting. <laughs> Bro, you know the truth, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you. That's not my job. <laughs> I get paid for none of this. I will never function I mean, I guess I am. the way Whatever. <laughs> you function. It's not possible. Um, it's not possible. You guys, I simply can't function in the way you function. <laughs> More like you, you don't want to. You haven't tried, is what you're saying. God. That's why if you're griping to your viewers if you're complaining to your subscribers i mean that just leaves a sour taste in people's mouth it's I think fair those closing and if it's not closing already it's i've griped i've griped to my viewers and subscribers on certain occasions before when i feel like the youtube noose is really around my neck and you got a house full of kids to feed but uh me and Bo we are not the same it's not the same situation at all. <laughs> He's like, I want to buy a new ping pong table. And I'm like, I literally <laughs> don't know how we're going to make it through next month. And um, people have rallied. People people come in strong and fast and, and help us to make it. Every single month. And and 
There's no way that I could not be grateful for that. You know what I mean? It's absolutely insane to me that this is a job that I could do. Even after three years, even though sometimes I feel burnt out with daily content, I'm like, gosh, I'd really like to take a break at some points. Like, people are there. They want it every day, so I gotta deliver it every day, you know? I feel like by letting you guys down, I'd be letting myself down. And I don't think Boogie feels that anymore. He sits down, farts out a video, he's like, yeah, whatever. It's, 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 who cares? Obviously not you, dude. You haven't cared for a very long time and it shows. And it's sad. Anyway. <laughs> it's, it's already closed. Right, so if there was money to be made in making people feel depressed, I think Boogie would be in the right business. Like, that's just my life philosophy at this point. Just face down in the mud. That's, that's pretty much how we live our lives. A choice. You made this choice. You. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah, just face down in the mud. Like, you could get up at any point, bro. He's like, nah, <laughs> just feel bad for me. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God, you mess. It's depressing, but also, I, it just pisses me off, honestly. <laughs> that, that's right around the corner. Like, I have to sell this place. I have to... I have to tap into the equity to survive. Like, that's oh, no. the last of my money. And... Oh, maybe I shouldn't have bought a sound bar and gone to Magic Night. <laughs> Maybe then I'll have money to eat. How many days have passed? I bet this is like five days in. He's like, I don't have any money anymore. <laughs> uh, no grocery shopping, no nothing. I watched too many My 600 Pound Life <laughs> episodes. Dude, that's exactly the, the, the vibe. What'd you say? Intestine thing's a side effect from the gastric bypass. Oh, failed gastric bypass. Oh, the, the yeah, like malabsorption or whatever. I mean, that doesn't surprise me, honestly. He's, he's probably not getting all of the essential vitamins and minerals that his body needs with a diet of Taco Bell and pizza and chicken, you know? How about, how about you eat a vegetable there, Boog? <laughs> how about it, bummer2988? You ever considered it? My oh, God. I'm disgusted. Give me money. <laughs> uh, too savage, dude. But I, I, yeah, I don't feel bad for him at all. You lived the life, dude. <laughs> you, you had as much money as you could possibly spend. And spend it he did. Idiot. So much of that money is going to doctor's appointments and tests and all of that is just to fucking stay alive. Yeah, it's almost like people save for the end of their life so they don't have to endure things like this. <laughs> or, or rather, have the money to pay for things like this. If you ain't got money, end of life is, is gonna be a real bitch. <laughs> uh, and for Boogie, yeah, I, I, I don't think he's gonna be having fun for too much longer. Unfortunate Boogie, yes! <laughs> Ew, gross! Uh, I'm sorry I'm so disgusting. I guess I'm just a piece of crap. <laughs> Can you guys give me money now? <laughs> uh, E-begging is so cringe. No, it really is. Uh, especially if you do it this blatantly. I'm not I'm not opposed to a little bit of e-begging, you know? I've got content creators that I like and they're like, I I'd really like, you know, I'm doing this stream and uh, whatever, whatever. So you throw them a few bucks, you know? They don't even have to say anything just because you like it. You're like, here you go. I've been watching you for a while. I have five bucks. You know, and um, it, it, it all goes around. What goes around comes around, I guess. <laughs> uh, uh, unfortunate boogie. <laughs> That's so funny. You girls nailed it. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Fuck. Hey. There are plenty of different content creators to have various cry. mental illnesses all over social media. Fat man cry. And some just say, it is what it is, and this is what I'm going to do. Boogie tends to be really obsessed with this idea that it's favorable to have people feel sorry for you, and that kind of victim mentality where you can get further in life if 
uh, people have compassion on you, regardless of the reason they're doing it. I look awful. I mean, to a point. To a point, that's true. You you can lean into people's sympathy and be like, "Hey guys, I need to collect again." <laughs> but I think it's it's better to be honest about your intentions. And I I don't think that he has ever been. He's become accustomed to a lifestyle that's more than what he deserves for the value that he gives back to society. Especially at this point. Especially at this point. Ten years ago, I I'm, I would have gone to bat for Boogie. I'd be like, "Yeah, he's he's a nice, humble dude," but. He's just, he's, he's off his rocker. <laughs> he's completely lost it. And, and I'm supposed to sit here and be like, oh yeah, just bail him out one more time. You know, why not? <laughs> he deserves it for some reason that I can't specify. It's so weird. It's so weird and, and cringe is the right word. Look at all these super jets. Wow, they flooded in. <laughs> all of a sudden, what did I say? What was the magic word? <laughs> tin cup <laughs> just banging against the bars thank you gang address for the two for farnham for the fiver demon fox akira for another two for Woo! serious eric cartman vibes here no doubt <laughs> that's why i immediately started comparing him to ellie it just feels entitled to things i've been watching it for a while here i have five dollars oh there that's what i said <laughs> uh, you've done more than enough farnham farnham's paying for other people's tickets at this point you know that <laughs> Thank you, dude. Uh, Demon Fox Akira with the twofer. He spent 200000 on Milady's for rent. OMG, what? Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Isn't that shocking to you? <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess I'm not as shocked as I should be. But yeah, 200000 is a lot, dude. You could have bought a house. <laughs> uh, hey, Benji with the twofer. Better you than Boogie. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> I appreciate that. A oh, wifey going to bed, it's almost 3 a.m. That's true, that's true. We're about halfway through this thing. I'll probably get to bed 4 or 5. But the stream's going really nice. Thank you guys so much for being here, donating so generously. Uh, you've blown my mind once again, as always. I thought people were getting sick of the Chris Chan thing. We could do some boogie stuff before we get back into Chris, you know? And uh, I'm glad we did, honestly. There's some stuff I wish I could scrub from my mind, but he's just such a... Such a pathetic character. <laughs> yes, uh, I hope you sleep well, darling. Have a, have a sweet dreams and whatnot. Yeah, look at everybody. Everybody's saying goodnight to wifey. That's so nice. I love that. She deserves it. She's the queen. The queen! 200k to buy a house, attract a lady. I mean, yeah. <laughs> she might be in it for the wrong reasons, but uh, yeah, you, you, you could. What you really want to do is meet somebody when you're broke, like Mrs. Red X. <laughs> uh, we built all of this together, and yeah, there's there's no question in my mind what she's about. Also, welcome in Goo, boogie shaped like a monstrosity. <laughs> yes, we can indulge in multiple lol cows at the same time. Yeah, why not? And sweets for watching this, so I don't have to. What? <laughs> Oh, to me for watching it, so you don't have to. Yeah, I'll break it up. I'll give, give a little commentary spin, you know. It's gonna be fine, probably. It's totally fine. <laughs> Zero with the two for again. God! Super Chat just flooded in all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, I'm not e banking I swear. Thank you very much to everybody. That's, that's so cool. <laughs> you get mad, I'm getting broke. <laughs> Uh, I met wifey mad. when I was broke AF. See, that's that's how you know it lasts, Farnham. That's how you know who's really real, you know? Like, when I was broke, wifey was paying for things for me, you know? And, and now she's like, she's like, I want to make money and stuff. And I'm like, no, that's my, that's my thing that I can do for you. Please, have all of this money. <laughs> I keep my play money a little bit, but, um, yeah. She, she's so much better with the finances for one and for two. She just, I hope she buys something. She's like, oh, I spent $20 on some ukai clothes from the internet. And I'm like, dude, spend as much, like, <laughs> you can have a couple hundred if you want. I'll, I'll, I'll split my, <laughs> split my pay, play, play monies. Oh, 200 bucks, like, well, 200 bucks for one, I guess. So yeah, I'll, I'll give her a hundred bucks for clothes if you want it. Can I get married? Does that end being broke? <laughs> the tax breaks don't hurt, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, Mr. Red X, the best example of ride or die. You're my favorite YouTube couple. I, I'm I'm strong in the belief that we are totally YouTube power couple material. 
you know? Not two YouTubers dating each other, because that's kind of gross, and obviously for the views, mostly. <laughs> but yeah, wifey, wifey is ride or die. She, she been here, she, she gone been here, f into the far-flung future, and I love that. None of you are ready for what's next in this video. This is almost prophetic. <laughs> I mean, okay, I guess we should see. I guess we should see. Sure, show me. If I look like I've been through hell over the last couple of days, it's because I have been. Most notably, I've ruined my body. Like ruined Jerry, body. I ruined my own career. Maybe it was the career. imposter syndrome, maybe it's because I- Sorry, I'm so disgusting, you guys. If you could give me some money, that might help me out. <laughs> uh, oh yeah? Yeah. It's been a, a method of, I, I think covert narcissism is the right phrase. Like, oh, look at how pathetic I am. You should feel sorry for me. You would never be mean to me because I'm so pathetic, right? Oh, I'm so fat. I'm so weird. I'm so good. Dude, he knows exactly what he's doing and he's trying to like preempt it. <laughs> really, he would have told you all of this spiel before he starts doing the I'm so fat stuff. He'd be like, is this guy self-aware? Maybe he really does need a boost. <laughs> he just, he just, I hate him. Goofy, I'm such an old man. I'm so, I'm such a... I grew up in an abusive I'm family, an abusive home. The amount of pain that's in my head and my heart is... is so vulnerable narcissist. I want, I want more volume on this. Can we do that? Narcissism has a number of characteristics. Uh, a person can be considered a vulnerable narcissist without having them. Yo, Game Game coming through with the tenor too! <laughs> Everybody get in here today! Jingle of the tin cup always puts me in a holly jolly mood. Well, ho, ho, ho! No, I'd be more like the Grinch. <laughs> we take it around here! But thank you for giving, Game Game. Happy holidays, you know? I know, I know it's been, it's been weird since, uh, you know, Grandpa's knees went out and stuff, but I'm always here for you if you need me to come over, hang up some pictures or something, okay? You remember that? <laughs> I like that Arthur Morgan wants to be seen as Arthur Morgan, but I, I see him as, like, my grandmother. My grandmother gives me money on my birthday. Thanks for giving me money on my birthday. Now I have $5,000 to buy guns for the day of retribution. <laughs> uh, whoo! All right. <laughs> so with vulnerable narcissism or covert narcissism, we see pessimism. I feel oh, yep, yep. defeated and confused oh. and lost all the time, every day. Hypersensitivity to criticism. I can't handle this kind of hate. I can't handle right. these types you of attacks. Mad. I can't do it. Yeah. I'm getting rich. You getting mad. I'm getting rich. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Arthur Morgan, again. The active anger, so they're not really thinking things through. Is this what I have to do? <laughs> who goes by Boogie2988 was booked into the jail this morning. Need for admiration. Can I get a round of applause? The self-centeredness. I'm the perfect victim. I have been victimized my entire life. The sense of entitlement. If you guys want to help me pay for my Tesla, please go ahead and dig deep. I sure would like a free fucking Tesla. Leaving one <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're not even trying to veil it anymore. He really just doesn't give a damn. He's like, people will give me money no matter what I say, right? I mean, to a certain point, yeah, I'm sure they will. <laughs> but eventually people get wise to your schemes. And they're like, oh, these are all just schemes. <laughs> uh, how are you How are you this dumb? For real. I mean it. To be special. How many kids went on to get 4.5 million YouTube subscribers? One. Nine. Steven uh, Williams! You're just watching this. Yeah, because I made myself into a la laughing stock at this as this fat joke that that went viral. Because really, that's what his channel is built on. Essentially, is Francis videos, and um, like I enjoyed them at the time. You know, I identified with them in a lot of ways. But when you become the character, when you, when your whole life becomes that, I don't know. I don't know if it's a good way to go, man. Same things over and over again. What's up? Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie Tiny, I'm going to draw this new power hour of the internet. This is my family series. My father is doing this. Dude, I hope they do this with the Promise Swearsies intro. That's why I brought it back. It's so, it's so iconic to the channel. I couldn't do away with it. 
I love it. Just so much life. Life. Totally science! See, our channel has a theme. We put some thought into it, Boogie. We didn't just sit down in front of a cabinet, Boogie. And also Moist Critical, but to a lesser extent. <laughs> uh, we put some thought into the branding. How about that? Fall from Grace it, it is so catastrophic. Not happy about it. People are sick of the shtick. Yeah. And what would you recommend to him now uh, to get his viewers back? I don't think he's getting his viewers back. I don't yep. think that's a possibility. I think the only thing to do now is go a different angle. Yeah, I guess you could stay on YouTube and go a different angle. Hey, I'm getting rich. You get it, man. I'm getting rich. Thank you, Nina. For the two euros hey that's even better than dollars look at it i'm a victim of good laughs during this stream <laughs> uh, i mean i'm having a good time with it it's a lot less depressing if you take it a little bit at a time so do you i really don't see boogie going out and working an actual job so he probably would do another channel but he's sort of got a, a recognizable voice you know 4.5 million subscribers somebody's gonna put two and two together eventually um I think the best thing to do as an established YouTube personality would be hire a scriptwriter, hire an editor, or or do these things yourself if you're capable. And um, maybe you need to pay a voice actor to, to revoice the channel. And if that's the case, uh, Red X Industries here at your service, all right? I can even do the voice that I use for you, Boogie. Hey, hire me, Boogie. <laughs> uh... uh but yeah, I, <laughs> there is a way to, to make it on YouTube without putting yourself front and center. And that is the route that he would probably have to take. If he's not willing to get a 9 to 5, which clearly <laughs> he's not. Boogie out here asking for Teslas. I, <laughs> I buy used tires. <laughs> uh, I go to the vulcanizing shop. I haven't patched my tires. I'm like, it's, it's fine. It's fine. The music is so funny, I can't stop laughing. Yeah, it's a little... <laughs> I don't know. It's overdone. It's goofy in a lot of places. It's fine. Or get a job. Yeah, that's the first thing I suggested, but I don't think he's going to do that. <laughs> Anyways. But I don't even know if that's possible. I mean, it, I'm not going to say it's impossible, but how do you change yourself? Like, viewers are smart. Like, they want to see you. They want to see what a you're interested writer. in. I don't know. you got to get a job. You insert the personality of that script writer. <laughs> Maybe merge it with your own personality a little bit if you're if you're capable of conveying that to the person who's voicing the videos. But yeah, I guess at that point it does become like a, a big disheveled thing. I think the thing that people like about this channel is that it's mostly me running it. Um, you know, I'm not scared to share my opinions, even if they're dumb, even if they're supposed hot takes. I'm like, this is how I feel today. And um, yeah, maybe at some point that'll that'll blow back in my face, but I, I <laughs> I'm not hypercritical of, of criticism like Boogie is. I, I I don't react to it in the same way. I take it on board. I'm like, you're right. I did say some different things back then and my viewpoints have changed. Uh hopefully for the better, not into something unfortunate like Boogie's displaying here. Get a job. Yeah. Get a job. <laughs> you gotta get out there and get a job. Maybe in this case, GameStop. GameStop. That's the best you got for me! Sorry, dude. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want? Attempts to get a real job. Yeah, I'm sure it's gonna happen. I'm sure it's not just for the documentary. I'm sure. Nice to meet you. My name is Dawn. Dawn, I'm Boogie or Steve. Okay, yeah, yeah. what Professional you staffing to Honestly, agency. Steve. Probably Steve. Let's go with Steve. Okay, Steve. No problem. And we're not aware of him or his content. And he introduces himself as Boogie. <laughs> it's a bad start, dude. <laughs> He's been caught up in his own bubble for far too long. Hey, hi, my name's Boogie. No, it's not. No, it's not stupid. <laughs> like, why he calls me Red sometimes? Uh, but, yeah, especially at a, a staffing interview, you're not going to do that. I don't introduce myself to really anybody as Red, unless they are intimately familiar with what I do. <clears throat> and so you are here today. Let's get the germ. You are seeking 
employment. Yeah. You're seeking out new work opportunities. Yeah, sort of. Absolutely. Mostly Tell for me the a documentary. Little bit about your background <laughs> and where you think you want to go with the experience that you already have. Um, I did work at a small gaming store back in 2006, 2007. Oh, I am awesome. disabled. Uh, recognized by the state of Arkansas, but also the United States government. There's that. Now, the, the so yeah, my, my fear is true. He's collecting disability. He's never worked a job. He would be the worst employee in existence. <laughs> uh, Ramtide calls me Farnham. Yeah, I, I refer to Nate as Ramtide a lot too. Farnham, I refer to as Farnham, mostly because I don't want to dox anybody who hasn't already voluntarily done that. <laughs> uh... But yeah, most people know my real name. I still prefer the online persona, especially like on streams and stuff. Like red is easier for me to catch. It feels uncomfortable to to have my name dropped in a live chat. You know, I'm like, e <laughs> I don't know. The downside of that is I am extremely depressed. So there's no mental extremely health depressed. That we bring to the table. Definitely hire me because I'm depressed. And then physically, uh, I I am morbidly obese. I have no references, uh, no work history, and no education. And when you Google my name, you might see rumors that I beat my ex-wife and I am also a pedophile. You should mention I'm also a- Jesus, dude. Your, your list of cons is supposed to be <laughs> relatively short. You realize that, right? <laughs> He's just like, yeah, I don't know. I'm just like, uh, you call me a pedophile. And just like, dude, just stop talking. Stop talking for just a minute. This is... This is not helping. What? Uh, <laughs> Beat my ex-wife. <laughs> He's not saying that any of these things are true. I'm going to play it again one time. Uh, I beat my ex-wife and I am also a pedophile. You should mention I'm also a felon. Okay. Uh, What's the nature of your felony? A gun charge. Assault. How old is it? About two years. Okay. So I think there are some avenues you could explore. I definitely don't think it's impossible. It's impossible. Trust me. Oh, I'm Amber. Thank you, Gypsy Barber, for becoming a member. I'm Amber. <laughs> uh, I appreciate you. Um, but yeah, I, I, I do think it's impossible. This lady, you know, she's fresh-faced. She, she's happy to do her job and whatnot. But at a certain point, <laughs> at a certain point, we got to throw in the towel, you know? We have to realize that this is what it's going to be. It's as good as it's going to get, essentially. Um, I, I just don't think he's capable of it. But you have Kept her face like a champ. Challenges. That's true. Yeah. Uh, he's dropping all the... <laughs> I beat my wife. I might have fit on some kids. <laughs> Dude. I, I, he didn't even say they're allegations. Or he said you might read some things. He didn't say these things aren't true. He's just like, yeah, you might find out about all this. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, how do you not walk out after he drops that steamer on your lap? Oh, she wants to be in the documentary, too. Everybody's in it for the money, right? <laughs> I don't know. It's just... This is just insane to me. Already. It's good that he mentioned the gun charge. That's probably all, the only thing that you actually had to mention. All this, I'm on disability and can't do this or that, and the, the kids. Stop it! Stop it! To say, oh yeah, I have a felony charge. Uh, I was being stalked and harassed and, you know, tried to take the law into my own hands and leave it at that. You probably don't even say that much. Whatever, go ahead. <laughs> Lots of things in life are about your mindset. Oh and God. you're using weight and disability. I can't, I can't, I can't. If True. that is the attitude that you're gonna have when you approach everything, then you can't and you won't. Damn. I did work in the porn industry for the better part of seven years, so, uh, I mean... Be real with me. Do you really think it would be a good idea to go to a real uh, interview and reference porn? Dude, she's just dunking on him. Left and right. Oh, this is... this is. I'm depressed now. <laughs> this is sad to watch, dude. Uh, he's, he's, he's floundering. He's floundering harder than I've seen basically anybody flounder. <sighs> Are you serious right now? He is. He, he really is. Holy God. Okay. Go ahead. It depended on the job, I would think. Like, <laughs> oh, Boogie, always a jokester. And she's giving the most eyes like, if this wasn't a professional environment, I would go full fucking Karen right now. 
I want to stab you in your fat neck. <laughs> this lady's a boss. I mean, yeah, you can tell just by the look. She's like, you're not taking this serious. I'm not going to take this seriously either. You're wasting my time. At least I get to be in the documentary, uh, I guess. What would you think his chances are here of getting employment in the next three months? <laughs> I'm not sure. When it comes to the felony, we would have to seek cor corporate approval for that sort of charge in order to proceed forward with a candidate. And they would ultimately be the ones to make the decision as to whether or not we would feel comfortable presenting someone like that to our clients. That's the brush off. She should go into politics too. That's like the, the nicest brush off I ever heard. Well, as of this time, we, we can't speak to the veracity of these claims. You know, we'd have to run it up the ladder and, and see if people are willing to tolerate that that one charge. And also the other other weird crap that he mentioned. <laughs> the jail blues harmonica. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. Pay careful attention to the music. This is... <laughs> it's ludicrous. It is very ludicrous. She probably liked to help someone who actually wanted it. Yeah. Unable to gain corporate uh, approval. Hey, Mike. Uh, listen, dude. Uh, I know we're making this documentary and everything, and I know you think I need- Did he blew it on purpose? Is that- is that... Mean to say? Do you think that's accurate? That he just blew it on purpose? Then he calls the producer up, he's like, Hey, Mike, uh, it just didn't work out, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, he did on purpose, he clearly did. I think so, too. You don't lead with something like that, unless you're just completely out of touch. But I don't know, maybe he is that out of touch. <laughs> uh, it's 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 insanity. Ugh. They get a real job, but I just want to let you know I'm not going to. I, I'm not going to walk into some job when I have four million subscribers on YouTube. Yeah. I'm one of the original YouTubers. What I'm going to do instead <laughs> is go back to making content, go uh, back to telling stories and entertaining people. Oh yeah, it's so and entertaining. Making money doing it. Uh, you want to check back with me in a couple of months? Let's see how things are going. All right? Are you for real? I'll talk to you then. <laughs> uh, it feels like a big man leaving this voice message. I got, I got, I'm the one of the original YouTubers. Do you know who I am? Yeah, fat, pathetic wash up. Like, new YouTubers rise all the time. The fact that I've made it for three years and, and had like some semblance of relevancy is shocking. Most people don't make it to five, okay? <laughs> the fact he's been doing it for ten, yeah. You needed to evolve with the times and you didn't. Few people do, as a matter of fact. That's why you see the rise of commentary channels like Turkey Tom. He's young as hell, but he's on top of the ball, you know? He's bringing his A-game. And Boogie, he's, he's not had to bring his A-game, I don't think, ever. He just filmed himself being a weirdo and people seemed to respond, so... He did that forever and sure he had some inspiring Commentary videos and such but come on. That's not gonna save all of this Ugh. Go lay down go lay down go lay down good job Yeah, so I mean things aren't great um, People are still mad at me on YouTube uh, my new Numbers are pretty much Close to zero. I'm having trouble breaking 10k on an upload right now. Boo hoo! <laughs> uh, you want to know what what Boogie would get if he uploaded Francis content? Cur nothing. He'd get nothing. <laughs> I don't know if people would even find that entertaining. I do find Lorlo on TikTok entertaining, sort of a, a neckbeard LARP. So I don't know. Maybe he would, but. <sighs> I mean, crying about 10,000... Your, your videos don't deserve 10,000 views, okay? Very few of mine do, if we're being completely honest about it. I was sitting there last night thinking, like, 3K... It seems like a, a little bit. It seems like you're down from this point, but... Like, thinking about 3,000 people that decided to watch your video on the day it was up, like, that's crazy. That is crazy to me. So, yeah. <laughs> How about we start by being grateful? Instead of like, oh, I can't even break 10k. Okay, so y you know your new baseline, right? Start from there and build upwards. Instead of laying there face down in the mud. 10k on an upload still good money. Yeah, dude! He's making 6k a month. And these are not even like the, the, the burr months. Fourth quarter, it's gonna go insane!
He's probably making 10K. <sighs> I don't know if he uploads day. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, imagine Boogie having the consistency to upload daily. Uh-huh. Whatever. Go ahead. And, uh... Oh. Not, Lorlo's the goat. You're gonna like what's bad. upcoming, Honey Punch. Oh That's all I'm gonna say. At least one good thing going on. Yeah, one good thing. Can I show you? Can I show you the thing? You guys wanna see the thing that's going on? It's too good. Sure, whatever. So this is, uh, this is Dazzy. Or you can call her Daz. Daz or Dazzy? Why does he say it like that? Like he's introducing his dog or something. This is, this is Dazzy. Sometimes she pees on the floor, but it's fine. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna come after the girlfriend, but I will say she looks rather young for you, Boogie. <laughs> Whatever. Desiree. Yep, Desiree. We've been dating now for months. Oh, where did you meet her, Boogie? How did you meet her? She seems, <laughs> she seems nice. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. She's 20 years old. Boogie's 49. That's fucking gross. Gross! I know people hate it when I come after the age gap stuff, but that is gross! <laughs> uh, capital everything! Ugh, I hate it. This is, this is... No, oh, don't, don't! <laughs> uh, okay. I guess. I just, I don't know what it was. It was, I guess it's his energy, his, his curly hair, his glasses. I'm, I must be into nerds. It's, I guess... I don't know, he's just adorable to me. I like him. He was going through a lot. Poor girl. <laughs> she doesn't know what she's doing with her own life, so she's decided to attach herself to somebody who had a modicum of success at one point, who has since completely squandered it, but she's too young to really realize that yet. She sees $6,000 in a bank account, she's like, hey, that's good money to sit on your ass all day. <laughs> I used to give this booty up. <laughs> I said I'm not going to go in on it. All right. What energy, though? Yeah, depressed, sad boy energy. That's what she likes. She's like, I can fix him. Like, no, honey, you don't even know enough about the world to really fix yourself yet. Okay? <laughs> I'm 35. I, I still am learning new things every day about things about myself I'd like to fix. <laughs> He's not even focused on that. He's not going to bring you any type of self-betterment. Whatever. Whatever! What happened in her life to put her here? I'm, I'm not going after her. I refuse. Okay? She seems like a nice girl. It's an unfortunate situation for her. I'm trying to keep the sights focused on Boogie. It's hard, dude. I'm a, a big fan of collateral damage. But not today! <laughs> Chat's doing it for me, though. I don't... I don't... <laughs> uh, brutalized. A lot. And I randomly hit him up on Instagram. That's how they're paying I for food, her OnlyFans. I... Oh, so it's people who are into, like, that, that degradation sort of thing with, like, a, a skinny girl with, like, an old fat guy and stuff like that. Yeah. I, I, could, I could see where the appeal in that lies. <laughs> uh, I love your content. I think you're super cute. Oh, yeah. When you cry in front of a camera about how little money you have in front of your giant collection of collectibles, I really connected with that. It really humanizes you. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> you know, I support him and that I'm always here for him and stuff. And so... Always here for him. It, it started from there. Uh-huh. On paper, it just doesn't really add up, right? It doesn't make sense on paper, but then practice and the reality, there was just something there. Uh, yeah, just something there. So it was pretty crazy. Mostly the fact that, the, that she looks like a child and he was accused of that. But we're not gonna go there. <laughs> it's, it's fine. But I just felt really it. Really uncomfortable. I felt felt an energy connection to him before I even met him, and I don't know. That's just, that's just how it is. And then the longer we spent talking, I don't know. Eventually, you just realize we're the same person. Doing. We're the same person, dude. You've lived an entire life uh, apart from hers. Uh, an entire life and a half. He's pushing fifty. She's twenty. <laughs> you'd be like, we're the same person. That just means that you haven't developed mentally in any way. You, you sat around doing the same thing. You're like, yeah, hey, this, <laughs> this is good enough, right? Uh, I guess it's working for me. I don't need to do any sort of self-improvement. 30 years, you wasted. You wasted. And now you're, you're dating younger girls, mostly because they don't know any better. <laughs> because they will stick around for the money because they haven't established themselves. 
<laughs> hey, Francesco Scaglioni! Look at him with the fiver! Molto bene! <laughs> uh, nice girl. Sadly, sadly, she has the same face as Draco Malfoy. <laughs> uh, we go back to that close-up real quick. I don't know, that's just... That is a Draco Malfoy is. face, and dude. The <laughs> Doing the same thing, Wild. living the same lives, just at different stages, and... I can see myself getting you married. Get hey! I'm getting rich! You get it mad! I'm getting rich! <laughs> uh, thank you again. And yeah, living the same life but at different stages. Mostly because of, of Boogie's suspended adolescence. The fact that he is now a, a basically <laughs> past his midlife crisis and he's still doing the same goddamn thing. I don't understand. I just don't understand. Farnham made a Mad TV reference? Lowered expectations. <laughs> I've used that in a few videos too. That's good stuff right there. Let's go back to feeling bad for Desiree. Definitely, <laughs> I could definitely see us getting married. In fact, I, we may or may not have talked about it a little bit and we may or may not sit around fantasizing about it and thinking about what it's gonna look like. And, and I called you wifey the other day. And you loved it. You were yeah. so there for it. Bye for what a mistake. Hey, I got a bunch of debt from this life that I lived before you. Could we split it? <laughs> can, can I saddle you down with this at 20 years old? Maybe have one of my fat neck beard babies. Go ahead and just squirt that one out and we'll both ignore it while we play video game. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm looking at this in like the worst possible way, but... Ew! I hate everything about this. I hate it! Proposed right now on camera. What would you do? I'd say yes. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. She doesn't know any better, guys. So that's a good sign. <laughs> oh, awesome, yeah. Definitely uh, put all your cards in that basket, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> uh, he's awful. She looks like if Draco Malfoy was a horse. But he <laughs> Stop it! Her life tremendously. He... She's a nice girl. That's not using him for money or any other reason. She's supporting both of them with the OnlyFans. Now it's all now all the poison's dripping out. Chat, what have you done to me? I'm supposed to be a nice guy. <laughs> uh, uh, IKEA with the five euros. I'm behind, but as a fellow Choco Hollet, I must support Mrs. Red X. Love y'all. Thank you so much. Uh, Wifey's got more money than she knows what to do with for chocolate. <laughs> We're stacked for the month. We gotta stop, guys. We gotta stop, all right? <laughs> uh, wow. First super chat. Yeah, you love to see that, too. And it's for Wifey. We're, we're keeping a tally. It's gonna be fine. She's gonna run back through the chat and be like, how much I got? Okay. I know exactly what I'm gonna buy, too. <laughs> Good. She looks forward to going to the store, and yeah, I love that. Dating a younger woman would make me feel old AF. Yeah, dude, she doesn't know how a telephone works. She didn't know that you had to used to plug into the phone line to get on the internet. <laughs> I'm getting rich. Thank you again, Ikea, for the fiver. Wifey appreciates it. Get her a carrot. Stop it! If <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, all it just right. makes me happy. The happiest I've ever been. And I'm not alone. It's I'm pretty... so that he just completes me. And I'm not alone. There's some pain behind those eyes, you know? She has seen some shit, and, uh... I'm sure she'd tell you about it. <laughs> she'd tell you about it if you even implied that you were asking. <clears throat> I don't know. I think that's really what it boils down to. She doesn't want to be alone. <laughs> the happiest I've ever felt? Like, I don't know. Does she come across as a happy person? It's good that they make each other happy, I guess. But it's really also super off-putting. I don't like it. I'm allowed to not like it. It's great that you guys like it, but I, I don't. <laughs> uh. Growing up without a father figure has its challenges. Like, you just don't have that... that, that <laughs> and then we go right into growing up without a father figure. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, every time. Every goddamn time. <laughs> uh... I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to, what, what am I supposed to say here? Good lord. That support system that you would and the advice that you need. 
Let's this see. is five SVU it's episodes smashed together. I don't ever want to be alone. That's uh, another thing. I'm just, I just, maybe that's why I have stuffed animals. I just, I don't ever want to be alone. And so. What you got there? A little knockoff uh, Baxaris and a Lapras? Dude, Lapras gonna win. All day, every day. We do pair song substitute. You, you done, son. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, Sweets, thank you for the fiver, though. Yes, this is this is getting more and more uncomfortable as far as the like the longer we go. <laughs> you get it bad. I'm getting rich. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Got him, boy. <laughs> but yeah, I I didn't believe people. They're like, it's it's gonna get worse. I'm like, how can it get worse than him pulling out his meat flaps? Well, this is some severe psychological damage that we're dealing with now. She's like, yeah. Let me tell you all about my <laughs> my terrible childhood. It's like, well, okay. I guess that explains everything. <laughs> Eventually she'll realize what a financial burden he is, what an emotional burden he is, just just what type of person he is in general. And she'll run, and she'll lament the years that she spent. But, uh, hey, at least Boogie's probably having a good time, right? <laughs> uh, oof. So it's just nice to have company. What's up with him dating childish women? That is so concerning. I agree 100% doubt. I help with the dogs. I get him. I get Moved him in after three months and, of dating. Know, like, whatever he wants and requests, you know. She sits there. She cleans the house. He's not even cleaning oh, his own I house. Him, I get him his Good water, lord. I, you know. Just sitting there on the side of his stream like a humble lap dog. <laughs> uh, uh, Miss Reddix don't even do that. She's like, I want to make sure you're not talking to any other girls. It's like, dude, no, no other girl would want him. <laughs> Uh, they'd see the, the 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 facts of the situation. They'd be like, "Ew, ew, gross." <laughs> uh, you know, like whatever he wants and requests. You know, I I just mainly look how happy she is with her toys. That is not a fully baked brain. <laughs> I mean, you could sort of see that from like the vacant eyes. Like something terrible is happening. I don't want to. Allegedly, <laughs> does that cover me? Allegedly, perhaps, maybe something terrible happened. Uh, uh. Is to take care of him. He takes care of me. So he takes care of me. Yeah, sometimes I, I pick weeds out here. So cause like yeah, girl, it makes it look better. I smoke trees too. Trying to trim down these vines, but dude, he got her out here doing like housework and stuff. <laughs> uh. Yeah, all right, I gotta go straight. You you trim the trees. <laughs> uh, I mean, wifey does all types of housework. You know, she she really gets into it. But stuff like this, unpleasant things, pulling weeds, stuff she doesn't want to do, hire somebody for it. You got that type of money, Boogie? That, that you could hire somebody to avoid this woman that you supposedly love having to go out and and cut trees down <laughs> for your benefit. Uh, I, I I don't have the words necessarily. Go ahead. I'm not doing a good job. I don't do this very much. <laughs> you know, uh, I used to have a theory, Mike. Oh my god. That if you are a 40 year old man and you have a Snapchat, that means you're a creepy dude. Do you have a Snapchat, Boogie? Because <laughs> I, I think probably what Boogie's gonna say next is that he has a Snapchat. <laughs> uh, Turns out my theory was right. I have a Snapchat, and I am a creepy dude. Ah, ha, ha, ha! Can we cut in that Titus uh, Final Fantasy laugh? Ha, ha, ha! <laughs> Just the fakest laugh in existence. What a good joke! The fact that you joked about it makes you less creepy. Said nobody ever. <laughs> uh, Jabba of the Borg, yeah. <laughs> you will be ass simulated. <laughs> I said ass. <laughs> Why is she doing arboreal work? Dude, I, I, I can't get into that girl anymore. I'm concerned for her well-being, okay? It's not, it's not appropriate. It's not good for her. But it's not my place to really make any changes, you know? <laughs> I can make my observations, but that's about it. Jabba the Borg. <laughs> He's the worst. He's the worst. Covered in tape and wires. I makes found him less this person creepy. And they happen to be 20. And I get that it's creepy. Yeah, maybe. To date somebody half your age or younger. I'm only but human. 
What do you want from people me? People can call me creepy if they want. If she's happy oh, will. and I'm happy, then I will be the biggest creep you need me to be. Okay, good. Then I don't feel bad about any of the other things that I said. I don't necessarily want to come for his lady because I'd feel bad if somebody came for my lady. So that's why I'm trying to keep the, the, the women's out of this. But <laughs> he is a creep. For sure. For as sure, long for sure. As her and I are happy. You can be as mad as you want. You get mad, haha! <laughs> I'm not mad, I don't even think about you. We both you seem <laughs> to be having an excellent time. Excellent. I would say that it's the best I ever had. What? You are so... <laughs> Three... I, I can't pause on this. There's, there's no... There's no shape there at all. It's just... Just <laughs> go straight down like... Oh, I, I, I'm having a whole mix of emotions about this. I hate it. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna move past. I'm not gonna say anything. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> We're having fun. Yes, I'm nude in a bathtub for your documentary. My butt is completely flat. There's a small incision at the bottom. <laughs> uh. Stop my eyes! I'm sorry. It's just the documentary. We're trying to go past. Go faster. <laughs> There's a part you want to skip past. Where? <laughs> Somebody told me about this. He's monetized on this video. It's fine. It's skip. Skip here. Really? Why? Why? I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna leave it un unmonetized, but I'm gonna do it. <clears throat> But he has a swimsuit on. Yeah, we, we, we saw the gunt. <laughs> it's fine. You already showed it. Okay, good. Yeah. It's demonetized. It's been demonetized. It's fine. Super chats are up the chain. I don't care. $50 for tickets, $27 for drink. Yeah, he's a little sugar baby. <laughs> $200 in his bank account. Maybe we can't afford the date. Did we ever consider that? How did we get back above the negative that we were into? He sold off his, his magic cards? Whatever, whatever. Go ahead. Samurai on vacation? <laughs> I was gonna ask if you could see it, but... <laughs> so in the front here, and I think, did you, what are you, a YouTuber or something? Yeah, yeah, I've been uh, on YouTube for about 17 years. You've been on... You think the comedian was clued into any of this? Do you think the comedian actually cares like i'll tell you what was going on when i was doing stand-up comedy i was so insulated within my own thing because i didn't want to like lift other people's jokes or or um you know accidentally step on any toes so i wasn't watching that much content i was completely focused on making content i think they tipped this guy off that, that's just a theory uh Bummer 2988 theory. <laughs> Bro, stop spending money. $273. Yeah, we had trouble. I don't understand how you spend like this. My budget is tight. Yeah, dude. $100 for a night out. Forget about it. I'm, I'm ordering a pizza if that. Smoking lamps to the ready. Uh, should I do that? <laughs> Demonetize this. <laughs> uh, they try. They try. But we're winning. We're winning against them, Fodum. Thank you so much again for the super chat. You did stand-up, Red? Yeah, I did. It was terrible. <laughs> I mean, looking back, at the moment, I thought I was hot shit. I was like, my jokes are funny. Nah, not really. They weren't that funny. It's kind of enjoyable. I, I looked comfortable on stage, which is like 90% of stand-up comedy, if I'm being completely honest. A lot of the stuff that this stand-up comedian saying isn't all that funny. But at least I'm getting rich! And then I decided to do YouTube because, you know, you don't have to go to a club and sit there for five hours to do your ten minutes whatever <laughs> on youtube for 17 years yeah, four million subscribers. okay and this is your right, your girlfriend your daughter friend <laughs> Ooh, girlfriend yeah just girlfriend when i she hasn't been dumb enough to sign the legal contract quite yet but it's coming oh <laughs> it's coming who is Great. much younger than you is suspiciously <laughs> yep yep she, that, you know, I'm glad he pointed that out. Say, well, she's an adult. <laughs> <laughs> I love that the comedian goes in. Uh, he's sitting up here, fat old guy with a, a skinny young thing. Yeah, that's that's prime comedy material. 
<laughs> I'm glad I've got he, I'm glad he got lambasted. That comedian did get a tip though. I guarantee it. Nobody knows who Boogie like four million. It seems like a lot on the internet, and then you go out in the real world. Nobody knows who you are. I mean, people know who he is on some level, but like, I'm I'm super glad I could just walk down the street and not have people recognize me. You know, <laughs> it looks drugged again. Yeah, I feel bad. It's like one of those hippie girls that they keep strung out and just like. Load her in the back of the van. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Eat your heart out, Elliot Roger. She might not have any curves. She might still watch SpongeBob SquarePants. She might have been born in 2004, but look what I got right here. <laughs> uh, yeah, she, she's blonde, that's for sure. Looks like she could eat an apple through a picket fence, but <laughs> she's blonde. <laughs> Uh, if that's your only qualifier, you're doing great! Lowered expectations image again. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, God, I should have put this on my soundboard. I gotta set up my stream deck again. I reconfigured my computer and, like, uh, updated the BIOS. It's finally stopped crashing now. So I can play games confidently without having to worry about things. It feels really nice. Feels really nice. I crashed on purpose when I tried to render uh, 240 frames of a video instead of 120. <laughs> Seems like that's a little too much. So yeah, we'll max it 120. I don't want to blow up my graphics card yet. Anyway, head's so big. It's really weird, dude. And I hate it when people sing I hate it when people like... We're gonna do that though, it's to be expected. You're right, we're different. We're yeah. different. Fuck them, right? Yep, fuck. Fuck them. Deep conversation you're having there. That's some really meaningful words you're throwing around. <laughs> yeah, we're different. People are pointing out the fact that we're a creepy couple, but... Uh, so what, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so what, right? Yeah, you're right, so what? <laughs> Sounds like a load of cope to me, kids. <laughs> He's not manipulating me. I love him for him. He doesn't control me. We're a team. He supports me in everything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the power dynamic seems to go sort of one way more than the other way. That's just what I've observed here. I do, and everything I want, he's, he's my support system. <laughs> uh, eat an apple through a picket for- I'm glad you like that. <laughs> That's a slapper, huh? We'll keep that in the back pocket for later. Bummer 2988 and Pearly Things, a match made in hell. I guess I need to go look up who Pearly Things is. Oh, it's that super skinny girl, isn't it? Oh, that's terrifying. That is so scary to me. He probably barely lets her eat to keep her lethargic. Oh, can we cut in that Family Guy meme of John Goodman at Thanksgiving? He's like, <laughs> and his whole family's like, can we have some? He's like, I told you, you could have what's left. But there's never any left. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I don't want to go into it. I don't want to go, I feel bad for her. She's only 20, dude. We all did stupid shit in our 20s. This is hers. It could be worse. It could be worse. He supports me, as you literally do all the housework and yard work all alone. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got a slave that I just have to house and feed. <laughs> and also, you get to bag her too. It's like, it's like the full package! <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't understand the benefit for her. I guess that she doesn't have to go out and work at Walmart. Or OnlyFans. Eh, she's probably doing OnlyFans already. I don't know. <laughs> like I said, where did Boogie meet her? She, he didn't find this one down at the card shop, did he? Did he? He didn't. <laughs> this weird, like... Let me get choir, a depressed choir music. Deluxe, crispy deluxe combo. Combo. Make it large. Make it large too. I'm so hungry, my God. What do I think about his dire financial situation? I think it's actually. Let me get two of them. Also, did you want anything, bitch? <laughs> uh, I thought about getting her something, but I'm like, <laughs> does she really deserve it? What did she do? Mow all the grass and cut the trees today? <laughs> You gotta put work in, ho! <laughs> uh, picked her up from elementary school. <laughs> uh, oof. Just, just the largest oofs. Only the largest oofs. 
scary. Yeah, what's so scary about it? There's a girl uh, under 20, I would also never. Today. He might just be homeless. And day. erg too. Okay, well that's good confirmation. But I'm pretty sure that something devastating happened in, in this particular girl's life that makes her feel the need to, to do this. To fill some type of hole. Get your mind out of the gutter. Not that! <laughs> but like in her heart, you know? Billy, <laughs> Boogie ain't, ain't, ain't filling any, anything else, really. <laughs> so if I'm broke, if I go broke, okay? If we end Love up. Love the core rendition of Creep. Was that Creep? Dude, I love that. That's so deep, I didn't pick that up at all. But if it was Creep, then I, I, I need to give Mike Clum some more credit. I don't know why I keep saying his name like that. It's just how it rolls off my tongue. <laughs> uh, she didn't mow the grass. She just had it as a salad. <laughs> uh, yeah, my girlfriend's out there grazing in the yard. <laughs> uh, uh, there's a lot of overlap between Boogie and Ethan Ralph's dating habits. I mean... <sighs> I like skinny chicks, you know? I I, I definitely have my own preferences. <clears throat> but yeah, this young, it's concerning. There's a reason that you've decided that, that this is acceptable for you. And there's a reason she's decided it's acceptable for her, but I'm not putting her under the, the spotlight as much. It was creep. Dude, that's so big brain. I'm glad you picked that up, sweets. And clarified it, Farnham. <laughs> All right, go ahead. And... It's me, you, and Chad living in some small apartment, and we're eating McDonald's every day, and that's treating ourselves. You gonna be able to handle that? Yeah, you I guess it's that? me, you, Chad, eating McDonald's every day in our small, cute apartment. Because I mean, I'm hopeful that people look at that look on her on her face, the the eyes looking down, looking into her future, seeing what misery it holds for her, but she she doesn't see any way out at this point. She's just like, I don't, I don't know how to make it on my own. I'm scared to go out there and try and do it on my own. And you know what? It is a scary thing, but it's also, it's also gratifying. You'll feel very liberated once it's done. <sighs> All right, whatever. <laughs> oh, go back to watching us on YouTube. I hope that people will be, I'm hopeful that people will like, you know, I can go back to live streaming full time again and do like six hour live streams like every other streamer and like, grind it out but i mean there is a very six hour live streams dude nah i got three or four in me and and that's about where i started to check out <laughs> real possibility that one day i won't be able to do that anymore and we're gonna have to live off of whatever we can beg from are people prepared for that he didn't even finish the sentence are you are you prepared for that are you prepared for the e-begging are you prepared to sell photographs of your most private regions on the internet in order to keep us afloat because that's what you're gonna have to do desi it's just right around the corner desi <laughs> i'm sorry to be the one to let you know but i gotta let you know it's for your own good for your own good terrifying as long as i have you that's all i need as long as i have you yeah sure <laughs> No money, no honey. That's what I know. The fact that she's just waiting you out and trying to take your 401k when you die. <laughs> <laughs> the comedian again. I'm broke. I love broke. this guy. I'm broke, yeah. Four million subscribers. <laughs> Even if he does go broke and has to sell Sucks to I'm suck. He's the only one that I love and I care about, and there's only one of them. And so I'm not just going to up and leave him for my. Sitting there with a stuffed animal again. Maybe, maybe you should work on yourself a little bit more. You know, that's all I'm saying. Maybe there's some parts of you that are still missing and you should, you should go and find them before you try and be good for another human being. Because the truth is, uh, the person that you've decided to engage with is a toxic user. And you might not see it three months into the relationship, Des. Can I call you Des? I'm going to. <laughs> I'm sorry I made fun of your teeth, okay? I'm talking to you directly right now. <clears throat> And that's all I had to say. Go ahead, <laughs> make your mistakes. Money. <laughs> uh, money's an issue. Stuffed because animal I and crying. Him and just imagining so life without him is difficult. <laughs> I love him and imagining a life without. The truth is, you don't you don't know how to do it without him. That's the only reason, isn't it? You can be honest. You can just tell me straight up. Be like, yeah, I, I never had a real job and. I don't really like what my prospects are without him, so I'm just going to keep on doing this. 
until he's destitute or dead. <laughs> uh, maybe she is waiting. But maybe the comedian had some. I mean, he's, he he doesn't even think he's gonna make it twelve more years. Des is like, okay, what am I, tw twenty eight, early thirties? It's gonna be fine. We got this. <laughs> uh, I mean, my biggest fear is dying on her. If I die in the next two or three years on her, that's just gonna ruin her life. This is an adult sitting with a stuffed animal crying. I really yeah, sure, want that counts legally. Actually, sick why I not? Am. Like, I don't know if you <laughs> so weird. actually get it. But this is my health summary. This is everything that's currently wrong with me. My risk for stroke or heart attack is astronomical. I am essentially a walking time bomb. I know, that's what we're all waiting for. Hurry up. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna feel bad <laughs> once it actually happens. I'll be like, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have joked about that. It was too early. It was a tragic situation, but yeah, also you, you did nothing to pull yourself out. So how bad can I actually feel, huh? Huh? And I'm so fucking sick. <laughs> Theory, he's so big and she's so tiny, perhaps she's caught in the gravity well. <laughs> uh, <woo. laughs> Her brain isn't even fully mature yet. Yeah, you gotta be at least 24. She's 20. Like I said, this is a time to make your mistakes, and she's making a hell of one right now, but she can't see reason, you know? She can't see the forest for the trees. She's made this decision, and she's gonna stick with it no matter what mommy and daddy say. <laughs> we are in love. We're gonna move out together to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Listen, Des, you can't live at the bottom of the ocean. Who are you to tell me where I can live, dad? Oh wait, she doesn't have a dad. <laughs> Who are you to tell me where I can live, mom? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Sorry for that. I really, really wish I had taken better care of my body. Aw, oh, I wish I had, and it's too late now, so might as well not even try. <laughs> uh, you are, you are the biggest type of joke. Sir, <laughs> what makes you do these things? Why would you? Why would you? Why would you? And then he just gives up. He's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna die, and I'm gonna die real young." But that's your opportunity to grift, isn't it? <laughs> oh, cool. I'll do a lot of that. Thanks. Ugh. Pathetic. Pathetic. Yeah, I know. <laughs> a cult can consist of only two people. I'll never be ready for it, but Damn, I know. Deep. I don't want you to be alone. <laughs> Fart him. Oh, I bet you had a stepdad or two. <laughs> this is straight up manipulation. This is a narcissistic manipulation tactic. Yeah, that's where he kind of tries to buffer himself and be like, Oh, well, you know, I know all these things about myself. And then he proceeds to do it anyways. He's like, oh, I'm self-pitying. And I don't want to use that as a sword. And then... Minutes later, he's sitting there like, I know, I'm disgusting. Uh, I need your money because I can't even take care of myself. <laughs> uh, uh. He looks like a kind of American adult version of Hifumi Yamada from Danganronpa. Google image to see what I mean. You better not come back with any not safe for work. I will tell you that right now. No, no, that's fine. Uh, let me throw this up here. Hey, there he is! Hifumi Yamada, everybody! And there's his, his gun, if you wanted to see it. Uh, none of us did, but there it is! <laughs> but yeah, I, I do think she's, she's quite clearly being manipulated, because that is how Boogie has made his existence for the past couple of decades, by manipulating the, the emotions of other people. I don't know where he lost his touch along the way. <laughs> uh, I want you to be alone. Okay. <laughs> he has a better physique than Boogie. That's true. <laughs> he doesn't have like the side the spillover tits. Oh god. Oh god. My therapist keeps telling me the same thing. When you learn to love yourself, all these things will fall into place, and we just got to teach you those skills. And then I turn to my doctor, and I'm like. What do we do? He's like, you've had bypass surgery. You, you lost 200 pounds. What more can I do for you? 
I'm like, fix it, dude, help fix it. And then they're telling me that I'm the one that has to fix it. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. And, and nor do you even want to try. You can learn. Like, we're in an information age quite literally. I understand most people use the internet to look at naughty pictures, but literally any type of information, the day that it is released is out there on the internet somewhere. And, and you're just sitting there like, well, I, I don't know what to do. You spend enough time online. I know you know how to fucking Google it. So Google it. <laughs> how can I improve my station in life? Something. Anything. Please. You're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. And I'm making less and less every month. And I'm scared shitless. Boo-hoo. And, and you just sit on your hands. You watch the train coming towards you, and you're like, well, it's already this close. I might as well stand here until it hits me. <laughs> Do something. Fight back. Where's your gumption? Where's your balls, son? Jesus. I can't believe I used to look up to this fucking lump. Look at him. Just a lump. A neck beard. Disgusting. Your mindset is more disgusting than anything else. Ugh. Boogie receives an unexpected call. Making his way to the ring. That's not his Boogie ringtone, right? Tonight. Hey, so Mike, I just got off the phone with Keemstar, and he has a boxing event coming up, and he's giving me a slot on the card. Got it. Oh, lucky you. I I knew that Wings was going to. Did did Wings win that? Because I think uh, Arif and I were talking about it a little bit. And I'm like, yeah, Wings has got youth on his side. Boogie might think he has a fighting spirit, but he <laughs> he does not, objectively. At least Wings has, like, some gamer rage behind him, you know? Boogie's just, he's depressed. He's given up. <laughs> not the gnome! <laughs> How the hell is he staying relevant? Boxing, yeah. He boxed with Wings of Redemption at some point. I can't remember the results. Wings won that, okay, yeah. And, yeah, <laughs> Arif confirms that I called it. So good. Uh, now I have confirmation, and that makes me feel better for some reason. Yeah, it's an obvious equation. I'm glad Boogie got his ass He should have got his ass kicked a lot more. Now life is doing the kicking of his ass. <laughs> uh, Wings disproved this entire section of the dock. Oh, good to know, food for thought. Maybe I need to look into that a little bit. Sell tickets, five dollars, you can punch a ham planet. <laughs> I'm gonna hit him in the kidneys. <laughs> uh, he already has kidney damage, but just get him one more for good measure. This is 800 pounds in one ring. This fight pays $10,000. Oh. <laughs> no chance against me. Shut the fuck up. The people are going to see me win this thing. This is where I turn it all around. Right here. Nope. <laughs> 400k purchased the fight. The stage was set for Boogie's comeback. <clears throat> I didn't know Wings is taller too. And the youth on his side? Yeah, he didn't stand a chance, Boogie. It's a fat old man getting his ass kicked because he needs $10,000 real bad. And it's sad when you think about it. It was still paid ten thousand dollars. Well, so, hey, great! Since you guys were here last, I did have a bit of a windfall. I can surely pay my medical bills with the ten thousand dollars. Surely that's gonna fix my <laughs> my light concussion, <laughs> which bought me some time here in this house. Uh, cool. The problem with that is I spent more than ten thousand getting that fight together. So by the time all that was done. Yeah, I had to buy $350 boxing shorts. You, you don't want me to go up there naked, do you? I mean, no, we don't, Boogie, but you probably didn't have to spend $350. I go up there in my mighty tidy whities and I'm smuggling plums. It's got that intimidation factor. I'm like, look at this shit right here. You scared of that, huh? <laughs> Wait till you see what the, the fist could do. <laughs> uh, yeah, hotel, meal. None of this was, like, comped at all. What a waste. I wouldn't have gone. Been like, Keemstar, you, 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 you're, <laughs> you're twisting my balls here. 
Come on, 10,000 is the best you can do? I, I got 4.5. I'm one of the original YouTube. Like, where was all that? But you just do it because it's Keemstar and he simps for Keemstar? <laughs> uh, okay. All I did was put that $10,000 back into savings. Being in the new relationship is great. But, oh, yeah. I mean, she can't help pay a $2,200 mortgage. Yes, because she's a literal child, uh, Stephen. That's his name. Stephen, <laughs> wake up. You want to know why? She's 20 years old. She has no idea what she's doing. That's the only reason that she's with you. Do, do you. Does that compute on some level? It has to, right? It has to. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't understand. Why would you even expect her to? Like, it's just so weird. It's just so weird. How do you get this mindset? Okay, let's go through my monthly bills for a second. My health insurance is 800. I have $500 worth of medical bills. I have $500 worth of utilities. I, I pay for doctor's visits, physical therapies, labs constantly. I still have to pay for the car that I drive. I still have to pay for car insurance. I still have to pay for health insurance. Diablo 4 came out. I had to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, did you? That's right up there with health insurance and doctor's visits. <laughs> the Apple 4 came out. I had to buy it. <laughs> I didn't have a choice. The people at Blizzard came to my house. They held a gun to my head. They said, you give me $70 right now. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> like, these are things that most people have to pay. Oh, you get a car payment and insurance. All this doctor's visits and labs. That's because you're fat, okay? If you, if you wrangled your mindset a little bit, decided to live a bit less comfortably for just a couple of years, downsized your house in some way. <laughs> what the hell? Did he reverse his stomach surgery? Yes, he did. Why? <laughs> he definitely did. Not on purpose, just because changing the, the physical attributes doesn't do anything to change the mind. That's where it all starts, you know? And you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Thank you, Taz. I think that's a subscriber or something like that. I don't know. I don't remember what that sound alert means. <laughs> Is it Diablo free? Not the new one. You gotta pay for the new one. <laughs> Are you guys playing with Blizzard's newest game, Warcraft Rumble? I totally am. <laughs> Suck me in real good. All right, yeah. Tell me, tell me about Diablo 4. And how you had to buy it. Final Fantasy 16. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tears of the Kingdom came out. I had to buy it. That's $400 for the video games. And everybody's just okay with this. <laughs> Why did you have to buy it? Did you play it on stream? Did you did you do anything to make content with it? Or you're just you're buying things because you think you should buy them? I had to buy it. I just had to. Right there. But if you take out all of it. You take it out. All I eat is sandwiches every day. Because you buy $400 worth of video sandwich. games, you idiot! I don't pay for any Netflix subscriptions. All I pay for is internet, utilities, medical bills, mortgage. If I pay for just that, I need $7,000 a month. Yeah, I don't pay for Netflix. If I paid for Netflix, I'd need $7,015 a month. And that's uh, clearly too much. <laughs> uh, what are you talking about? Like, because he didn't indulge in this one specific thing, he's like, that's... I mean, the, the proof is in the pudding, right, guys? <laughs> uh, ridiculous. You are so ridiculous. I'm not making $7,000 a month, and I have no clue how to do it. Do better. <laughs> Make better content if this is the thing that you want to do. Like, you can't just rest on your laurels and be like, I don't know, that's good enough. Because it's, it's never truly good enough. You know? You gotta, you gotta really dig deep and be like, this is the thing that I want more than anything else, and it's super cool that I get to do it at all, so... I'm going to, to give it everything that I have. But unfortunately, I, I just don't think that everything that he has is is good enough. It's not good enough.
Yeah, drink my soda. My soda pap. One week later, still sitting in the room. Yo, I'm getting rich. You get it, man. I'm getting rich. Thank you so much, Babsy. Who are the two for? Everybody throwing it. Everybody throwing in today. Thank you guys so much. This has been a killer stream. Uh, I I pay 700 for car pay and student loan a month. Yeah, I mean my rent was 1,200 bucks a month. Like uh, that wasn't building towards anything, and <laughs> it, there was also car insurance on top. Like I was eating with literally maybe 150 dollars in my pocket. And we actually ate kind of okay. Had to go to the 99 cent store. Had to get some, like, really nasty chorizo that had, like, cow lymph nodes clearly listed on the ingredients list. Probably gave me cancer. But I survived! <laughs> For now. <laughs> uh, uh, 180 a week. Because he has to pay for tendies on Saturday game night. You guys don't understand. <laughs> I love Farnham's comment, too. Can we queue up that Sarah McLaughlin? Do, 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 do. This is the Titanic thing. Damn it, I don't know what... Oh, in the arms of the angels. For only $7,000 a month, you too can feed your very own lol cow. In the arms of the angels. He's suffering and not able to buy video games. He really needs Diablo 4. <laughs> uh, okay. How do you even have time to play $600 worth of games? Yeah, you can buy like one game a month and really give your all to it. Or you can just buy everything that comes out and never really play any of them. I'm playing Age of Wonders 4. It came out forever ago. I'm like, I don't really need it. I still like Age of Wonders 3. Now that I'm playing, it's pretty cool. But yeah, this is my game for like the month. <laughs> Aside from Humble Bundle stuff. $226 a day. So there's something I've always wanted to try. Uh, there's a lot Downsize! It's the only... It really is the only solution. I don't understand why it's so hard to just be like, you know what, maybe, maybe I do got to give some things up. You know? Uh, maybe that wouldn't be so bad if I just... <laughs> Decided to take life seriously for a little bit. What? 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 A lot Last of research ditch that came out of Europe, and now we're doing it here sure in the United States, where psychedelics can help reset certain brains. People who experience childhood abuse, people who've gone through trauma, people who deal with post-traumatic stress disorder, and I'm all of those. Uh huh. And to be honest, I'm scared shitless. It's one of the only things I haven't tried yet. So let's give yeah, it a shot. Might as well, you know. Let's take some of that psilocybin. <laughs> are you, are you, he's on the mushrooms, is he? I think LSD would be more effective, but I've definitely experienced like ego death and, and you come to some harsh realizations about your life, where it's headed, what you need to do to make it turn out differently. But I don't think he, he's capable. He's going to wake up the next day and be like, that was a weird trip. I learned a lot. Let's not apply it to anything. <laughs> uh, no? Anybody? Huh? Okay. My life's a mess. I know what'll fix this. Drugs! <laughs> My given name is Ryan uh, Arthur DeLeo. Young, yes. And I've adopted the name Flaming Star. God. There's one thing that's undeniable. Yeah, definitely trust <laughs> trust this shaman. Let's go out into the woods with his hillbillies throwing gasoline on a fire. <laughs> uh, he made these drugs himself. He said it's pretty good. <laughs> uh, it's the worst part of the documentary. It makes a mockery of shrooms for medicine. I mean, that that is maybe Mike Clum's uh, purpose, but an egregious oversight in my decision as well. Because... It can help, but only if you're willing to apply it, which I already know he's definitely not. Yeah, this is the guy who kills you. Yeah. <laughs> my name is Flaming Star. I like to put gas me into my feet, that, stick it in the fire. There's question about why. Why am I here? Existence. What's really happening? Who am I? That's what happens when you seek out hallucinogenics. It's going to allow everything else physically here to relax. The emotional stuff is going to come out, trauma is going to come out, but afterwards your atoms are going to go back into their original positions.
Your atoms are gonna go back into their original positions. <laughs> uh, yeah, you might lose all oxygen in your body, which is basically a bonding agent that holds you together. You'll turn into a pile of ash, but afterwards, you, your atoms are gonna reassemble themselves, so it's fine. Wow, that sounds very scientific, those things you're saying. I'll definitely take the drugs that you're offering. Uh, shaman! I... What the hell? <laughs> uh, That's why. They'll be mind, body, and spirit all one together. Yeah, all one together, We're man. All connected. All Probably connected, dude. If you dude. get to a certain point of understanding inside your intellect mind... Your intellect mind. That connectivity, you realize your hands are basically look like, like USB ports. Dude, so what the fuck? <laughs> uh, inside of your intellect mind, you're gonna realize that, like, your hands are like USB ports. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I'm... <laughs> okay. Sure. Why not? <laughs> It's crazy to think that something that just grows out of the ground has so much power, and I'm actually holding it in my hand right now. It's so much power. It can rearrange atoms. That's the power of a nuclear bomb in my very hand. <laughs> uh, don't listen to anything the shaman said, okay? You, you probably should have got those shrooms and trip doing something that you enjoyed, not out in the woods with this creepy dude. <laughs> just, just my suggestion. <laughs> God, eat this 60 pounds of shrooms. Yeah, I don't think one cap's gonna do it, Bug. <laughs> uh, can I call you Bug? I'm going bad. to anyways. Honestly, that doesn't taste too bad. They're pretty good and dry. Every, everybody that says kind of earthy. Good and dry. Yeah, they don't taste too bad until you get some saliva in them. And you got a pretty wet mouth. I've been checking it out. <laughs> uh, what the hell? Stim and all. Oh, the whole thing, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sure. Why not? Whatever. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. The shaman club. No, seriously, what does it take to be a shaman? You just print out a little certificate, put it on the wall of your trailer. <laughs> As you go picking through cow dung in order to find another another hit. <laughs> oh, dude, I got somebody else coming through tomorrow. We gotta be super careful about this one, guys. Yeah, yeah, do we? Hey, Babsy, thanks for the fibers. Difference is I buy booze to celebrate the work week and to treat myself. Boogie takes vices to cope. Yeah, yeah I think that about nails it down. He, he doesn't know how to handle reality at this point. And uh, you're going to reap what you sow. He's going to reap what you sow all day or a day. Can't even feel bad for him. Like I said, this is, <laughs> this is ludicrous. And thank you again for the fiber. May oh. God bless you and be with you on your journey. May God bless you and be with you on your journey. The spirit of Wimatanya soars with you, little little hedgehog. <laughs> Just wait for your atoms to start rearranging themselves. For the record, you should not do this type of therapy without the supervision of someone who knows how to do this kind of thing. Wise words from Air, if yes. <laughs> this... This guy schemes me out, and I ain't even high. <laughs> uh, he's just really weird. He's a really weird dude. I don't like it. I don't okay, like so where this is going. I think we've been about 20 minutes in. About 15, fell asleep? Yeah. About 15. Oh. So we're about 15 minutes in, and I started to feel... Things are kind of wavy and kind of disconnected. It's kind of like my brain works on multiple channels, and, like, I have to pick and choose what I'm concentrating on. Yeah. That's sort of accurate. Alright, I guess he took enough. That's all it takes is one? I would have thought he would have had to, like, wolf down an eighth or something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> bro is EP. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I have no clue have where damn the boogie. fuck I am or even who I am. And I don't give a fuck. I recognize uh, He's about to experience the second part of the realization of letting go and we're gonna get to the other side of it I told you they'd come it's gonna get nice and bright in about five more minutes yeah and the reflection in the water is really cool too the reflection is getting nice and bright can I get another beer though 
This is totally a super scientific medical treatment. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have another beer though. Is that cool? Is that cool with you? Bugs? Can I call you bugs? It's whatever, man. I'll call you whatever I want. You're just a big stupid head, aren't you? Look at your big stupid head. Why is your head so much bigger than your girlfriend's, man? Like, 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 she's so small and you're so gross. And I should give you money. I feel bad for how gross you are. I should give you more money, dude. I shouldn't be charging you for this stuff, man. But then again, I got to get mine, you know? A little six-pack. That ain't never hurt nobody during a supposedly serious medical procedure, right? <laughs> when he lets go, he's going to cut the wettest part. <laughs> I want someone to look at me the way Shaman looks at Boogie. Yeah, just support me through this. Totally painy so what to be do you think here. was the first trauma that you experienced which, had, which basically set up like a defense mechanism for you? Man. Man. Yeah, my parents are just crazy. They're broken people. Parents? Yeah. Yeah. Stewards? Stewart? People who are like trying to... to, to oh, okay. Okay. What you talking about, bro? Yep. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? What? <laughs> what? What the hell are you like, talking you know, about? I mean, that shit doesn't matter. <laughs> it really it doesn't does. matter. That was the dumbest shit. Oh, it happened so long ago. Like, it I did happen so long. You're still hanging on to it. For the right time to just drop that shit. So, uh. Yeah, why not now? You here feel tonight. The need of this because you're gonna wake up in the morning and reset. Is that what. Was that like what you used as a coping mechanism to socialize? Coping mechanism. Is that what you use as a coping mechanism? <laughs> I, I need to get another beer, Boogs. Hold on a sec. <laughs> <laughs> he's at the epiphany stage of a trip, but the shaman doesn't know how to help him with it. Yeah, he's just talking about his mechanisms. <laughs> Shroomy298, ex shaman fanfic one. <laughs> uh, oh, dude, it's just like we should just take our shirts off, bro. Like, you know, I don't know, kiss a little, see how it goes. He's like, I have two flaps. Look at my flaps. The dude's like, that's so gross, man. Can I touch it though? <laughs> like that's surreal. I'm not even like believing what I'm seeing right now. <laughs> uh, the shaman's making me so depressed. No, he's terrible. He is. He, I can tell you on first sight. Like I'm pretty good at judging people, <laughs> and I'm like, this guy is not a consummate professional. He's a loser. <laughs> he lives out in the woods in a trailer. He's the cheapest guy that would do the job. Whatever. Whatever. Nice, Oh, well, that's exactly what it is, right? Like, I didn't know what the hell... I didn't know how to communicate what I was dealing with or what I was going through, and I just... Right. We put on these different faces in order to deal with situations in society. You try to give people what the hell they want. And then you felt like that was the need to make up Francis or other personalities? Yeah. Are you ready to let all that go? Yeah, please, man. Please. Do it for me. Anything that doesn't require me to put in any effort. Just do it for me, magic shaman. <laughs> uh, you're stupid. You're stupid and you're never going to change. So, uh, I don't know. I guess this is me and Boogie, like, officially parting ways. I, I haven't watched this content in years, but I definitely won't be back to view any of it currently. Because, like, yeah, it is just depressing, dude. He's... he's a wicked person that doesn't want to put in the work that it takes to become who he wants to be. And, and he got to experience the good life, you know? Good for you! But now it's time to, to pull up. You're in a nosedive. And he just insists that he, he doesn't know how. <laughs> I don't know how. Might as well not try. Access to the entire world of information on the internet, but I don't know how. And I might as well not try. This mindset enrages me. Honestly. Shaman, release me. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, this is the first time I've ever felt happiness. I wait, 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 what? Happiness. <laughs> like, this is the first time I felt it. So what's this all, man? Ha 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 ha. Yes, I've never been happier than when I was on drugs. 
<laughs> okay, cool. It's all kind of bullshit. It's, what's all, bullshit? it's all bullshit. What's, what's bullshit? Just all the things I've been worried about. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have that loop in your head through the entire trip. Like one time I got dosed in the cheeseburger, and they're like, "What if I put ten tabs of S in that cheeseburger?" And then throughout the entire trip, that's all I heard, like just on on loop in my brain, and I thought I was going insane. What if I put ten tabs of S in that cheeseburger? What if I put ten tabs of S in that cheeseburger? What if I put ten tabs of S in that cheeseburger? And and. Yeah, my brain was just stuck in a loop, and I felt like I was spiraling out of control. So I, <laughs> I took a, a a Valium and went to sleep. I'm like, this is a bad trip. Bye. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, this this shaman. How does he feel bad about being intoxicated? He's 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 not a professional. <laughs> he's a nobody that lives in the trailer, and like I said, the the lowest common denominator. And then he flexes for the documentary. He's like, oh, isn't this the best experience you ever had? Tell your friends. <laughs> uh, what a story, Mark. It's a game, right? <laughs> so it's up to you to choose. <laughs> oh, what the hell was that? It freaked me out. Steven, are you, can you I thought my computer out? was just about Whoa? to crash. I was like, I just said it didn't do it for a long time. They sleep with that thing on. You get it, man. That's wild. Sure hey, I'm getting rich. rich. You get it, man. I'm getting rich. Thank you, Babsy, for the fiver. Dipping in again. Love that. I've serviced no kings. Yet I'd wager I could give Boogie better advice and coping than this street Montebank. What's that? Mont Blank? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's what you meant to say. Definitely check out the interview with the documentary maker. It's poggers. We might have to do that at some point. Maybe like the during the week type of stream. A little bo bonus stream for people who catch me in the middle of the night. Um, thank you for the fiver, Babsy. And yeah, I, I I don't think it requires much of anything to give him correct advice. The, the failure that we're having is not communication. The failure that we're having is his willingness to put in any type of work or do anything to improve his station in life. He wants everybody else to do it for him. Shaman, take this away from me. Um, I give it up to you, shaman. <laughs> uh, bro, maybe you should increase your relationship with Jesus Christ. That's all I'm saying. Maybe he can help you to find the strength deep down within yourself. <laughs> Don't depend on a magic shaman who obviously doesn't know his job. I digress. Yeah, make sure I have some Mountain Dew first thing in the morning. Wash your stink I really breath want out. Breakfast. You that's, monster. That's changed. Yeah, I'm gonna get breakfast. First thing you think when you Ooh. wake up. Disgusting. Sick of me. Come on, guys. Let's go. It's just all bullshit. Like, none of this matters. Yeah, none dude. It. It's, it's true. It's all a construct. It's all a simulation. It's all a... It's a fucking video game. Oh, that's what we learned, is it? <laughs> uh... I don't think that's quite accurate, but if that's what you got out of it, I mean, <laughs> okay. You know when you die? I think I died last night. I physically, my body was fine, but I think I went back into the void we come from. And I think... I'm trying to think. Uh, I think I'm still in it. Looks really hard for Except you. Except I'm also in this physical corporal body, but I'm also the incorporal being that puppets it and control. <laughs> corporal. My corporal body. <laughs> he got promoted from a private and now he's a corporal. <laughs> uh, corporeal. You, 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 you mental Lilliputian. You physical behemoth. <laughs> you disaster. <laughs> Uh, oh, God. It's the worst. Rolls it, and... God damn it, I feel like I'm in control. I feel like I'm in control of myself for the first fucking time. Then you missed the point! 
The point is that none of us have control, so staying attached to anything here on this realm of existence, it really is futile. It's pretty stupid when all things come down to it. You're here to improve yourself, to learn your lessons, to go back to wherever the hell it is that we come from, and, and somehow apply those lessons. Maybe move on to what's next. Boogie, not only is he getting held back, dude, he's, he's, he's expelled. He, he, he learned nothing. Ugh. Basic I, bitch no. revelations you can walk away with. I agree. I'm not even that experienced. Less than 10 times, you know what I mean? But I've definitely learned some stuff, did some soul searching. He... Nothing. There's nothing. I don't really worry about. I worry. And lose it really hard. <laughs> uh, but yeah, good for you, you know? You're coming to some revelations. I I'm, I'm totally sure he's going to apply these at some point. He's going to be like, yeah, I'm, I'm making all sorts of changes. <laughs> Realistically, he's probably just going to fall back into the exact same patterns of behavior. But hey, I'm cool. I'm glad we ended the documentary on a good note, you know? Some, some, some hope. I'm, 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 I'm going to sit here and cry into a camera more than ever. I'm gonna ask people for money to pay for my house more than ever. <laughs> okay. I think you missed the lesson, but that's fine, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'll be gone one day, too. Uh, but for one brief moment, we, we got an opportunity to shine really bright. Who's we? Uh, yeah! You trying to include me in this? <laughs> Boogie is still broke. Subscriber still seeking. Alright, I don't know if that's copyright free or what. But I am glad that they ended the documentary on a on a on a rather positive note, you know? Could have gone a lot of ways. <laughs> really, it's it's all been laid so bare. Maybe this will be his, his turning point or something, but I don't see it, you know? Looking into him as a human being, who he really is. I don't see it. He doesn't have the gumption. He's not going to be able to, to, to pull it out of himself because he's had it too easy for far too long. That's why I preferred to suffer up front. I did a lot of suffering. <laughs> Hopefully that point in my life has passed, but if I find myself slipping towards it again, I'm going to hustle. There were a few months back where I had to uh, scramble for some extra voice work, some extra writing gigs. I'm like, I'm going to go back to copywriting, you know, just to make a few hundred extra dollars to get through the month. And, and it worked out well. Boogie, he, he sits back. He's like, I just deserve more. I bought a sound bar for my TV because I couldn't hear the Fs. Now I deserve more. You, you deserve nothing. You're lucky to have made it this far. I'm glad that he supposedly had that, that realization, but come on, dude. <laughs> uh, is it permanent? Do, do we really think that's permanent? Because I don't. I definitely don't. Ugh, I would have watched this in a theater with your commentary read. Well, thank you so much, Danny. Maybe we could do that one of these days. I'm going to go uh, to Flappers Burbank, rent out a night while I'm back in town, invite all of Red X Industries to show up, and uh, maybe five people will. And I'll have to pay $1,000 for the venue, but <laughs> at least I got to do my thing on stage again. <laughs> it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I can't, I can't justify it. Might as well take the kids to Disneyland or something like that. At least chat was funny, because this was so tragic. Yeah, without taking breaks, like, consuming this all at once, 
I, I don't think I could have done it. <laughs> I would have been like, I'm no longer interested. It's not even fun anymore. It'd be fun, like Red X Industries does Mystery Science Theater 3000. Yes, yes, exactly the vibe that I'm going for. And if I do more uh, reaction content, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'd like to lean in. Flappers, topical. <laughs> Uh, it's a comedy club. It's based off the Flapper Girls, you know? <laughs> it's so funny. Dude, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's a tragic thing um, to, to watch somebody fall so far and so fast, but... Yeah, you, you can't say that you didn't see this coming. At least a little bit. People have been talking about Boogie for years. I've been asked about Boogie a little bit. I'm like, I don't know. He's sort of a fence sitter, but he seems like a cool guy. Like, he, he doesn't have many opinions of his own, but he he's passable. And essentially all of that was born from, like, looking up to him when I was younger. And now you see it for what it really is, and you're just like, God damn, dude. <laughs> this whole thing really is depressing. But, uh... Yeah, I, I guess... I guess we'll, we'll all have hope, and we'll say, Hey, guys, maybe he really will pull it out. Maybe he's gonna turn it all around, and it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, maybe. But like I said, I, I just don't see it. I don't see it. He doesn't have what it takes. The The job interview lady nailed it down. She's like, I see this mindset you have that's like, I can't, I can't, I can't. And that's all he tells himself. And, and that is antithetical to everything that I stand for. Make moves! <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Drives me up a wall, honestly. But, um, yeah, I'm probably going to end the live stream. It's 4, 4 30 in the morning, so I'll get some sleep, I suppose. Maybe play a little more Age of One. Just, just, little, just a little bit. But this has been a, a killer stream. Maybe back to Chris Chan, unless something else pops up on the feed. And I'm like, I, I got to cover that one. But, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. Enjoy the replay. <clears throat> I'll make sure the sound doesn't get muted this time. Um, <laughs> like it did with the second Chris Chan video, which is a tragedy, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to go back and relive it. There's so much Christery. Nobody will even notice if you're missing this little blip. <laughs> Zero drive to move. Yeah, exactly. So uh, get out there, everybody. Live your best life. Stay motivated. Always remember that you are loved. You are worthy. You definitely, definitely deserve it. And I shall see you in the next one. So until then, friends.